Pepper sitting with her sweet boy? Unheard of. Hi, chat. Okay, is the audio okay? Are we good? I'm probably just gonna, like, dive straight into the game. If that's okay. Mango, thank you for the eight-month reset. I appreciate it. We're back to the cover of your bedroom. That's in your stay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Alright, I think we're all good. My bot didn't go off in time because everything hates me, so I have to do a manual ping in the server. Um, and you know what? We ball. Truly. So tonight we're going to be finishing 5.2. I am excited. And I am nervous. I don't know what's to come, and I'm not even going to lie, I feel like I forgot what happened. I feel like I forgot what was going on in the MSQ because I'm... Are you kicking my ass? Bro. Alright, here's my going live tweet. Give it some love. You know the drill. Hi, Kelsey. I'm running a trial with some friends in a couple minutes on Prime, and they'll be able to mod, be available to mod properly. Don't worry about it. Thank you. I appreciate that, Kelsey. You got some time anyways. Something with flipping cards? Oh, yeah. That shit. Yo, Nissan! Hello, hello! I thought all streamers stalled? True. Streamers being on time? Absolutely unheard of. Absolutely unheard of. Tiana. Oh yes, T Tiuna, Tiuna, their god, right? Who basically went through the same calamity or like depiction of what the Amarantians? I don't know what they're called. The like they went through as well. Um God, I feel like I'm I feel like I'm 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 missing some stuff. Hey Lonely! Hi Maru! Gonna need to resub to this game soon because an upcoming patch has armor that makes you look like a Power Ranger. Iconic. Incredible. Hell yeah. That's a good reason to resub. My neighbor told me she lost her job at the keyboard factory because she was wasn't putting in enough shifts. Bruh. Omni. Get out of here. She said she's got something you stole us that it sounded like the echo. Right! Yes! Of having like the same visions or something like that, which was similar to the echo, right? Right. Right, right. And so the echo is this thing that some other people have after witnessing a certain event, like that calamity or something like that. Whoever bore witness or some shit. Look at me and the cat boys. Look at us. We're missing one cat boy though. Where's Vince? Where is he? Currently I celebrating my birthday. I can't watch. Everyone has a good night. That's okay, Stingray. Happy birthday or happy belated. I hope you enjoy your little birthday dinner. Imagine a pro streamer not knowing 100% of this game's lores. Yeah, bro. I'm fucking... I'm an imposter. I don't know shit. My problem is, like, my brain doesn't really, like, hold the information. It doesn't hold it all in properly. Um, so it takes, like, a couple of days for it to, like, click. Don't know what to, to say more because I forgot exactly where they drop which lore and these patches have lots of lore. That's what I've been told. Um, I know 5.2 is probably going to be very bulky. So we'll set aside the right date for that. I play for the glamours, not the lore. I play for the ERPing. Thank you. Hi, Kirby. Hey, Slim Grim. Sorry, I got to shake my orange juice. This is really awkward. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, Kenley. How you doing, Kenley? Thanks for running dungeons with us early. I appreciate it. Hey, Milk. It's not that awkward? Okay, good. It felt awkward. Is it pronounced snaw food? Snaw food? Thank you for the seven month reset. I appreciate it. We do love some vitamin C in this household. I need more of it. Oh, my bot actually posted that I went live. What the fuck? It actually did it, so I didn't need to double post? We all. How's you tonight? I'm okay, Milk. I'm good. I'm... I, I don't know. I woke up and I had a really good day, but then I scarfed down some food and it knocked me out. So I passed out. I was asleep for, I think, like, three hours. Felt pretty good, though. Um, no, I'm here. Is that Vince? Yes! Yes! The cats! <laughs> My little Mikos! 
Amigos. All of us little Amigos. I don't like pulp. I do not like pulp in my orange juice, okay? Flame me for that if you want, but I I don't want to I don't want to feel chunkies when I'm swallowing juice, like when I'm chugging my juice. I say that was me. I feel like tis the season for just random knockouts. Hey Sarah. Nah, I like shaking up all my drinkies. Except for the like Coke and the caffeinated ones and stuff. Alright. Okay. Okay. Chat, are we ready? Do y'all want me in voice? I don't need to be in voice. You don't like the fizz all over? Sometimes I do, but not when it's my drinks. It's finally peaceful? Alright, eat my fucking ass, bro. Eat my ass. Where's my, my glasses cleaner? This is a nice picture. I know. Look at us. If it wasn't for that, this would be so much cuter. But I will take a little. I'll take a little picky nonetheless. Let me just give a little. Whoop. All right. Yeah, cozy sire stream. Hopefully, I don't cry. <laughs> I I don't know. Like I don't know what to expect in this game. Like one minute I'm fine. I'm chilling. I'm laughing. I'm sipping. The next second, my makeup is all over my face. I'm sobbing. I'm grabbing my emotional support Orshifa in the back. Using G pose? Oh, wait a minute. Can I? No, not y'all. <laughs> not y'all turning around and dismounting. There we go. <laughs> and in like perfect sync too. I hate it. I hate it here. Uh, let's see. PCs only. Oh yeah! Beauty. 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 I'm not gonna put a filter on it, but we ball. We ball. There we go. Cute! Cute! Miko gang! Hey, let me align that better. That's good. Sick. Alright. Alright, besties. Let's go, besties. Oh, yeah, Anamnesis a Niter. Okay. I... Oh, I didn't even fucking invite Red! <laughs> I'm so sorry, bestie. I forgot about you. <laughs> I'm so... <laughs> I'm so sorry. Richie! Richie, thank you for the two-year resub! Welcome back to the Covenant of your Badger Boats and your stay! Thank you! Alright, I got the blue Power Ranger, the red Power Ranger, and then there's just us. Official hype starter, Pro Sauce, thank you for the 100 biddies! And thank you for starting the hype train. There's a hype train incoming, I appreciate it. Um, so audio is okay, chat? I don't gotta turn anything up? Are we all good? Are we chillin'? I think my chat is freezing again. There you go. Oh yeah, we're on uh, Bismarck again, right? Or no, not Bismarck. Oh, is it Bismarck? I don't remember. No, Bismarck is from the so the source. This is a different guy. I don't fucking remember. Fuck you, yo. Fuck you too. Thank you for the four month reset, Red. Appreciate it. You need a Kurt plushie back there? All right, give me one. Okay. I gotta turn up my audio a little bit. Um, is this too loud, chat? No. Oh my god, our mug shots. Oh, no. it's slow okay, so it is this mark. Okay. Oh, my bad. Am I gonna. Are we just gonna jump? Oh, what? Oh, hello? Oh, do I just fight them here? What's, what? Okay. Do I go the other. Oh, do I go the other way? What is he doing? Yeah, this whale is Gabu, right? Yeah. 
Oh wait, we're on him, and so we're just gonna we're gonna be fighting enemies as they come to us. Oh, I see. Oh, interesting. Look at this guy. Look at this dude. Look at him. Okay, sorry, my bad. Let's go French. French. Oh, trench. Oh my god, they're French. French people are canon in this game. Trigger warning, French. Wait, what? Hold on, am I- is this guy not in my range? Oh no, he is. Okay. Oh, he's huge. French potato. It's a French potato. Tabernacle. <laughs> oh, this is sick. Look at this. This music, though? Dragonite, I got excited. We got so many things that can escape. French people, Pokemon, French Dragonite, Fog. Look how pretty this jelly is! Look, I may not like underwater creatures. Like, I may not, like, I may be terrified of, like, the deep sea, but this is pretty. Rock hard? Hell yeah. We love a good rock hard moment. Ah! Ishgard is full of French elves? Yeah, but they're not canonically French. They're just Ishgardian. Thank you, Don Silent. I appreciate that. Thank you. Smoke Tiger, thank you for the two with resub. Thank you. Man's just enjoying the view. He's just chilling. He's just vibing. So we're trying to go find like ancient Amarantian like stuff, right? <laughs> I think I remember that's what Ishtola was talking about. What? Did it not go off? It did not. The union? Oh, the unknown. I thought it said the union is scrutinizing. They're unionizing. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Nah. Nah Luminous ray? Oh, god damn. This thing is hideous. Look at its teeth. Oh my god! Oh no! Vince! Vince! Not like this, bestie! Oh, 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 oh! That's a bit sad, Parker! Okay, we're chilling, I guess. Oh! My 
HP! I couldn't get to the living dead in time. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. I believe in you. I believe in y'all. Y'all got this. You don't need me. You don't need me. This. I got this. We got. Oh, ooh, ah, ooh. I don't know. I don't know anymore. There's. Okay. It's just like. Can I aggro it? And like any. Is it gonna. Will it stick to me? Yeah, okay. Our healer's dead, that's good. We didn't need him anyways. That's fine. Oh wait, what? Oh, I used my, my thing. Oh, mm, mm, mm. I don't have living dead. Oh, um, oh, oh, oh boy. Oh boy. So I do have to aggro the other one, or else I'm just gonna chase everybody. Okay. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay, ready? We good? I think we're good. Oh my god, go off, thank you. Okay, so it's this ability, okay. So I'm safe here. And then it like, okay, I'm just gonna pick somebody. Okay. So that's a thick ability, so don't be near it. Don't be in his line of sight. Okay. You want to summon the other one? Yeah. Ah. Ah. Did I even get it? Did I get it? I think I did. one on top of each other perfectly nice that pleases the OCD First try, no deaths. Easy. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Should I 
keep going. So I stop it here. Let's look at you, Salted Earth. It's like a level 86 ability, right? Like the um the buff for it. Remember when I was, I was having that trouble in Standard Shadowbringers? Let me just double check so I know I'm not gaslighting myself. Um, where is it? Salted Earth. Salt and Darkness, yeah, level 86. Okay, oh, hello. No, 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 you're from A. Oi, oi. Am I missing one? There's, there's one? I only have two on my radar. There we go. There's more? Can I keep going? Oh, there are more. Fuck it. Fuck weed ball. Let's go. Fuck weed ball. Let's go. 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 Fuck it. Fuck it. easy. <laughs> kind of rude of it to double up like that? I know! I know. But you know what? We persevered. Oh, hello? Visions of Eld attend to us now? Ooh. Ooh. Oh. That's a big dude. Swap, okay. Okay, I think I'll remember that. Final verse. Blade, so now it's the opposite, I guess. Yeah, okay. Nice! Nice! Ah, me rolling a five. Ooh. Ooh. Hello? The Archive Eternal? That was so pretty. Look at that. Oh. 
Who aggroed me? Hello? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm on to blush, oh, forgotten form? Oh, uh, do I... Do, do I do anything about this? Do I... Do they just... Do I stop them here? There's more there. Fuck it, let's go. Don't think- oh my god, there's so many. There are so many. Should I get them all? Do I pull them all? Am I pulling them all? I'm pulling them all. I'm pulling them all. I'm pulling them all. I'm doing it. I know they're, they're like stuck right now. So I'll stop right here. If it's too big, it's too big, but we'll see. it up. I'm gonna watch my cooldowns. I got this. <laughs> okay. Oh, Sonic, what's up? How was your rating? This pull is tough. You need to handle the first two mobs first. Nah, 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 nah. We got this. No, 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 no. We got this. No, we got this. I'm not a coward. And there's already less of them, so you know what? We ball. You know what? We ball. We ball. <laughs> See? That was not that much. <laughs> oh. Just. Some of them are still on me. That's fine. I'm missing a few. Which ones aren't on me? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get them, let me get them. There we go. Okay, 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 okay. Oh no 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 no, I wasted it! I wasted my MP, I wasted my MP. We got this? This is easy? Easy? We do have limit break, but we're fine. We're fine. Look at us, chat. We're okay. We're okay. See? See? We just had to die first. We just had to wipe first, and now we're okay. Oh, wrong building. Amazing. <laughs> First try! Easy! No deaths! Easy peasy! <laughs> Wait, seriously? Already mapped it? Bro, I was drinking my water! Oh my god! It's, um, it's staff is, is or, or, um, or, uh, fish bones. 
Merciless Matriarch. Rooksteam? Rooksteam nuts! Thank you for the flashbang, appreciate it. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, y'all ready? I don't care. <laughs> Ripples emanating. Okay. Do I notice that? Oh, I do. Can I even focus like that? Like, I don't. I don't know why I immediately. Was oh yeah, I was right. Okay. When that's attached, it does no damage. The thing takes no damage. Okay. go like boom 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 yeah and then it's gonna go the other way yeah She looks a little constipated. You okay, bestie? Oh, now y'all show up? <laughs> you let the cat people do the hard work? <laughs> Alrighty. I'm 
sorry, are we standing in a square formation? Is that what this is? I get those hoes. Well, fuck you then. <laughs> All right. Nice. Okay. Now give me some cutscenes. Now give me some. Give me some goods. Let's hear it. This structure must have served an important function, and here are yet more crystals. Hmm. I too noted the crystal repository on the way. The Benthos seem to employ them in their spellcasting. In such vessels did the ancients preserve concepts, they, ideal forms to be drawn them? upon in the act of creation. That so great an abundance should reside here lendeth credence to Ishtola's conclusion. This facility held great significance. I don't like this shot. Who's coming? Hello? Oh! It's, oh! Is this my bestie? Is this Hithlod? Oh, never mind. There's just a bunch of them. What was their name? Hithlodeus? Can I help you? Did I interrupt something? <laughs> Thank you all for joining us at a nighter. Is it pronounced a nighter? In these most perilous t of times. By the summoning of Zodiac, have we been granted a reprieve? Yet immutable as the laws he has woven, he has woven may seem, they will not serve to forestall our doom. <laughs> Nay, should we continue down this path, or fate will be the same? I said as much to the convocation, of course, but the stubborn fools turned a deaf ear to my warnings. I had hoped that the defector, at least, would, uh, would side with us, but I regret to report our overtures have gone unanswered. <laughs> Whither tend your thoughts, Vinat? I thought this was sort of Vinan for a second. Uh, where you lead, we will follow. You. Follow. Astral Flame, thank you for 20 with Risa, I appreciate it. Thank you! I shall not speak ill of the convocation. They too seek only to secure the future of our star. Yet it is plain they will not- Am I like getting a glimpse of- Yeah, I'm getting a glimpse of something that happened, right? This is all part of Emmett's memory or something? Is this something that someone wants me to see? I don't know. Yet it is plain they will not uh, countenance a permanent solution. That being the case, we must ask ourselves a simple question. Are we prepared to pursue our chosen course, even should it mean su suffering the eternal con condemnation of our brethren? <laughs> If so, I see no further reason to demur. Let us bring forth the light that shall ever keep the darkness in check. Oh shit! Wait, T? So, it was they who first summoned Hydaelyn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Their discussion did seem to imply as much, yes. I cannot say I have ever heard of this Venar before. Venar. Okay, so the T is not pronounced. For a certainty, Emmet Selk never uttered the name, speak though he did, of the schism which Zodiac's advent wrought upon mankind. So Venar is, is of the, the viewpoint that his power must needs be restrained. 
And to that end, did they call forth okay. she who would serve as his shackles. We now know that it was this Venar to whom they looked for leadership. Uh -huh. And that this place, in all likelihood, served as their headquarters. Mm. The presence of such intimate records attests to that. I would hear what else they have to tell us. All of it. Did anyone see the source of the image? Yeah, that thing. That thing lit up, and then everything else lit up. Does it have, like, archives or something? Like, how does it... How does that work? The device there? Then let us see what other secrets it holds. Sorry, chat. Now, please, why must it be you? If I may speak plainly, I would sooner it were another, any other. You are our leader. None can, none, none can take your place. You know as well as I that but few support our cause, far fewer than any, far fewer than they who place their faith in Zodiac. If Heidelin is to stand a chance of opposing him, I am the only one who might suffice as her heart. Rest assured, however, I shall not vanish from this world. The form I take shall ever remain my choice. And I will press you no more. Only know this, you will be sorely missed. Is this how the convocation felt about Elder Bussy? <laughs> Elder Bussy gets me every time. <laughs> what? Forgive me, but did that not strongly imply that Elidibus sacrificed himself to become yes. Zodiac's heart? Yes. That is exactly what that implied. Seven hells. Then who or what are we dealing with? Girl, I'm scared. <laughs> the drama? Huh. Let me just, let me just like sit with that. Thank you, Sire. That's what we need in this deep lore. The Elder Bussy? You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, shit is getting fucking real now. So... What were these people called again? These weren't... Were these... No, these weren't Asians, right? What, no, because Asians are religion or whatever. These people were... Do I know? Oh, we don't know? Okay, we don't know. Okay, so these big people... So, Elder Bussy sacrificed himself to summon Zodiac. Vena sacrifices themselves to become Hydaelyn. Hydaelyn won. Goofed. I. 
What happens to Vana then? I'll choose the form I take. <laughs> I have so many questions. I'm like, I'm like a little lost. Like I feel like I need like a full recap. Like I need Emmett to like come back from the dead and walk me through the fucking like murals again. Just so like be like, hmm, yeah, it's yes indeed. Let me just take some natural quick. <laughs> <sighs> can I summon him? Can I sacrifice myself to summon Emmett so he can give me a recap? Thank you. The device appears to activate via a form of ethereal attunement, not unlike an etherite. So it is ether. Okay. Beyond that, I can say little for certain, save that we should take this opportunity to see what other records it contains. Okay, Leon. Interminishing. But Emmett is right behind you? No, he's not. <laughs> He only comes back for people who like him. Confound it. Oh wait, no response, confound it. <laughs> Ishtola, same brain, babes. If I... <laughs> Look, chat, listen. You need the rat man after all? Maybe. There. You know what, maybe there is a part of me that likes him. You know, you don't know what you have till it's gone. I didn't know what I had till it went back to the sewer gates. Why have you done this to me? Why? I was living so blissfully. And then you up and left. And now I mourn? And I yearn? For what could have been? You know, not as bad as you though. Sacrificing your ass for me? I can't. I can't. And then body pillow reappearing in the shopping cart? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> if I may, milady. The panel did formally emit a soft yet uh, perceptible glow. That it doth so no longer- well, That it doth so no longer may be token the depletion of some essential energy within. <clears throat> Given how long it has lain dormant, I think it fortunate and functioned at all. Agreed. That may be, but if we can't get, ooh, but that blah, 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 that may be, but if we can't get it to work again, we'll be leaving with more questions than we've answered. The white-robed emissary hath ever named himself Elidibus. Sorry, my bad, chat. Elder Bussy. Yet if the shade spoke, spoke true. Elder Bussy ceased to be heir. Even the sundering ceased to be heir. Even the sundering came to pass. This call to my mind a, a truth that Emmett Salk did once reveal in passing. The names by which we know our foes are not those given to Asians at birth, rather they are titles of office afforded to individuals of merit at such time as the role became vacant. Perchance the illiter the elder bussy at Zodiac's heart and the emissary with whom we are acquainted be not one and the same, but predecessor and successor. Is the math mathing you stole? It's possible. If the previous elder bussy perished before the final days, the one we know could still be a survivor of the sundering. Mm -hmm. And yet, something in that explanation rings false. I will remain for a time. I would not abandon my attempts to revive the device so soon. There's more to learn here. I can feel it. In matters of etherology, I know of none as capable as thee. If there existeth, existeth a means to learn more, thou wilt surely find it. Whilst thou art thus engaged, we shall attend to matters on the surface. Oh, speaking of chat, um, I found a cute sticker that I got from Fan Expo. Isn't she cute? I had like no prior context to anything else, but look at her. And they made her brown too. We're obs I'm obsessed. I'm so I'm so obsessed. So hacking cute. I dare not show you the other one I have, though. I will be shamed. I will be shunned. I will be bullied. <laughs> I don't think I can, chat. I don't think I can show you it. Not yet. <laughs> show us the Emmett collection. 
direction. I don't know what you're talking about. But I do have my boy! I got my boy! I don't have an Emmett collection! That's definitely not what's going on over here. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, hold on. My boy's apron came off again. Orshpa, how do you keep doing this? Stop stripping when I'm live. Gotta stay put together, bestie. That's oh, that'll do. It's Emmett's cock? No! I don't have an Emmett collection as she has a portrait of him sitting behind her. Look, a collection means more than one. That is not a collection. All right. It may be starting though. <laughs> So anyways, this game! So we're still just gonna be, uh, doing stuff. <laughs> you may now enter Anamnesis and Ladder with a party of NPC avatars. Very cool! Very cool! Very interesting! Y'all have just been chilling here this whole time? Stinkers. <clears throat> Echoes of a fallen star. Uriange presumably has some idea as to what you might usefully do while Ishtola pursues her investigations in Anamnesis and Nider. <laughs> Welcome back, Sarnix. Show it again. Nah! No, there is nothing! I didn't- there was nothing there. We got to 30% off of Thordosi's HP. Nice! Good job. Good job, I'm very proud of you, Sarnix. Show what? Nothing! Chat is trying to gaslight me and everybody else. There's nothing going on here. I don't understand. They're accusing me of having having an Emmett Selk collection and that I'm a simp, and it's not true. Uh, can we but uncover Elder Bussy's true origins? We may yet come to understand his designs to that end. <laughs> to, to designs to that end, Ishtola must needs be afforded as much time as she doth require to complete her investigation. A squelch box? A squelch box. To the extent that such things are within our control, yes. Speaking of which, perhaps we might trouble the Exarch for news of his progress with the spirit vessel. Oh, yes! He will no doubt wish to hear of our own discoveries as well, such as they are. Da -na -na -na. So, am I gonna go with y'all? Is that what's happening here? Or do I have to travel on my own? Don't you dare. Please. Please have this segue into a cutscene where I'm already in the Crystarium. Do not make me walk on my own. Did it work? Oh, yes, beautiful. Why am I gasping? What's going on? I hear a kerfuffle. Oh, it's the Exarch. What's happening here? Dare I ask what's going on? Ah, excellent timing. For me, in any case. We have a problem. Uh -huh. The vast majority of those gathered here are presently in the employ of the Guard or else one of the facets, and no longer wish to be so. Hmm. In principle, all are Lena free to change included? vocation at any time. But a city does require a certain number of people in these positions if it is to continue to function. For the moment, I have asked them to postpone their resignation until such time as replacements can be found. There is nothing there! That's a photoshopped image! You edited my stream! You edited my stream! You are spreading lies! This is fake news! 
Wait, what did you post? What is that? <laughs> That's fake news! Sarnix comes in here for five minutes and starts slandering me? Definitely not unheard of. <laughs> All right, let's As you on. may have surmised, we have the Warrior of Light to thank for this. Yeah. Fucking Elder Bussy. It's you! The Warrior of Darkness! Yeah, hey, bestie. You understand, don't you? Someone's going to have to look after this place once you're gone. We just want to be ready to do our bit when the time comes. And not only here, but everywhere. Which is why we've got to get out there and lend a hand to those in need. That's what you did, isn't it? Even if it was just little things at the start. You helped people. I... I did. <laughs> people, chocobos... <laughs> And we're trying to do the same. We may have our sky back, but there's no shortage of people who still I don't really need help. I see a problem with this. If we follow in your footsteps, then I choose to believe we too can be heroes one but, day. But like, that's a bit extreme. Even warriors of light. No, you don't need that title though. Look at her face. She's like, bruh. Bruh. Lena too, eh? What are we to say to that? We can hardly tell them they are mistaken. Right. They seek but to do good, as you have. But no more can we stand idly by and suffer a paragon scheme to proceed unchallenged. Thunderstorm? Hopefully a thunderstorm? Um. Uh, um. Um. What? What's happening to the sky? Oh, nor the prophecy. Oh, nor. Oh, it's kind of pretty. What? Huh? Oh, fuck me. Wicked white. Oh, oh no. Oh, nor. Oh, nor. Can can you not with the flat bang? A star shower. I... No. I hear a voice. You and all. Oh, and wait, we're all like hearing Heidelin? Is it Heidelin? Hear, feel, think. I hear it. Oh my god, they all hear it. Me too. Oh wait, are they all gonna get the echo Did I now? not tell you, my friends? Oh my god. Oh you my- It's all part of the- of It's- life. Oh, it's all part of the fucking- Oh my god, right. Because anyone who like witnesses it or whatever gets the echo, right? Isn't that what we were like surmising? You're back! Oh, Angie, Angie! Oh, not the, not the slow flashbang. Oh, oh, is it done? We're back to normal? Why are we all? Oh, it's.
What you hear is the voice of light itself, and it has blessed you with its power. Welcome to the fold. I'm a warrior of light. I've been chosen. Oh, bestie. Can it be? Me, a hero. Uh... <laughs> Get his ass. Get his ass. Get his ass. Get his ass! Yes, Alfino! Get his ass! Wait! The falling stars, were they your doing? And why do you need warriors of light? Tell us your plan. That way we can come up with a plan. What, am I to reveal my plans simply because you asked? Yes, we're cute. Nay, I think not. Though the stars, I acknowledge mine. A convenient illusion apt to awaken what little is left of the power that once resided in your sundered souls. That which you and yours call the Echo. And an Echo it is of a symphony but a fraction of what men in their completeness once possessed. Even those among you who tower over others in the gift have only the faintest trace of it. But those sundered and forgotten through death and mocking rebirth, it has persisted. A whisper of our past burned into your very ether, along with the sight of our end. Through the rekindling of memory, I have awoken the ability, just as Heidelin is wont to do when she has need of new minions. The Echo hath ever been thought a gift from Heidelin, a boon granted solely to her chosen. Yet thou wouldst claim she merely awakeneth the power that men should hearken unto? Her voice. Given the perceived simultaneity of her call and the awakening of her chosen's capacity to hear it, it is only natural that we thus attributed the source of the gift. Yet if, in truth, the echo is a prerequisite for hearing her voice, one might surmise that her call never ceaseth, such that all who awaken to their innate gift might receive of the blessing of light at the self-same instant. In sooth, we bore witness to this but moments ago. At the sight of the star shower, full many in the crowd did speak of hearing a voice in their minds, did they not? Just so. And whenever Heidelin has need of new servants, she is quick to pluck comets from the heavens or create illusions of the same. Why, then, didst thou conjure this vision, full knowing that thine age-old foe would thus claim those awakened to the gift? Foe? You must be mistaken. As you see, I am a warrior of light. And together with my comrades in arms, I shall save the world. Just like you. Can we please have one normal day? 
Can we please just have one normal sane day in this godforsaken universe? <sighs> I knew I should have stayed home today. Literally, literally. Yeah, you can go for some apples and kill some bees for grains so she can make a pie. <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> I like the juxtaposition here where just a little bit ago. People were like, fuck the words light, all my homies hate the words light. And now people are like, wow, even I'm the word light? I could be a hero, kind of so fickle and quick to change people can be in my opinion. Yeah, well we've seen that, like, that same, um, theme happen a lot in this game. Oh, is someone merged with me? Are you going through the same cutscene as I am? Yeah, I think you are. Patch bars are big in those videos. Okay, so I'm not gonna watch no trailer. We're fine. We don't need to. The more Elder Bussy reveals, the less I understand. But that he has made a f Yeah, you know what? Like, okay, I get it, but like, I don't get it. I think this is like also where my confusion is like coming from too. I feel like I understand what's happening, but like, I also don't understand what's happening. Um, like, And don't tell me anything! Don't tell me anything! Um... Like, I don't want answers! I don't want answers! Don't tell me anything! Cause I'll, like, I'll piece it together myself. Um... And if I'm right, though, I guess, tell me if I'm right! Cause, like, I'm sitting here and I'm like... Cause, like, the, the part that I hate the most is that I have to listen to... fucking Shakespeare explain it to me! Cause, bro, I do... I can't read! Um, so like what I got from that is that like Elder Bussy mimicked the event and the he there was an illusion and he mimicked the sound of the echo to convince them that they're the warrior of light and that Heidelin called out to them, but that never fucking happened, and that's his ploy to like get these people to wrap them up. But that scene was voice. Yeah, but I don't know. I can't. But I can't read. I don't understand words. Like I feel like that's that's what was explained. I think that's what happened. But like, why? But like, what is his fucking? Pl I don't know. I don't know. The only way I'm gonna like really piece it together is if I just keep fucking playing. I think that's like. I think that's, like, the part that, like, I... I hate with this game. Or I hate being a streamer sometimes, is, like, I ask all these questions, and if I just keep playing the game, it'll solidify it all, you know? I don't know. Anyways, I'm not gonna look at chat, because I'm... Okay. The more Elder Buster reveals, the less I understand. But that he has made a fine mess of things is plain. Okay, am I- okay, chat. Am I- am I allowed to simp for him? Can I simp for him? Is that okay? He's so cute. I just wanna- I just wanna hold him in my arms and just- I wanna wrap him up, you know, and like cocoon him. Wait, no, I meant- I meant the Crystal Exarch! I meant Grahatia, not Elder Bussy! Do y'all think I meant Elder Bussy? I love- I love cat boys. Uh, if you're a cat boy or a cat girl or a cat they, I love you. I love my kitties. Sim for Elder Bussy? I mean, his voice do kind of be- I'll simp for Elder Bussy too. Who won't I simp for? Let's be real. No, but like, I just, I just want to... You know, I just... Like, when I look at Grahatia, I get the same feeling I get when I look at my dog. I just went... 
you know? Hi, Reven. Don't have to the five gifted subs. I appreciate it. So either I got gifted subs, both will come up with your badge and in your stay. Oh, my fucking... My, um... My OBS is, like, lagging again. So I'm gonna have you guys open on Twitch now. Can you break out some chunks of crystal and make some jewelry from Exarch? Wait, like, break off the the crystals off his body? Bleh. Where are my Lena simps? Oh, I, I love her. I am a simp for her as well. Hey, yo, we have 600 sub points. If we get 400 more, we unlock new emotes. Do the thing, chat. Come on. Do it for chat. Do you think his dick is, is crystallized? Wait. Hold on. That's a really good question. So it's his arm. It's his neck. Now, Mr. Grahatia, do you think you can come over and show me that crystal tower of yours? Please and thank you. It's for research purposes, I swear. I promise. Just want to do a little investigation. I just, uh, just want to know what's going on down there. <laughs> All right, he's gone then. I managed to persuade a number of our would-be deserters to reconsider, or at least delay their departure. But as many are, but as many are deaf to my uh, entreaties. So we know that even when crystallized, his arm still works. So we can assume that his ahem still functions, um, even when crystallized. Nice. So what happens? And when he comes, is it like bright and shiny like this? Is it like liquid nitrogen and like fire or something? Like how does that Is it like bioluminescent? Shrapnel. It's condensed ether. Damn. Interesting. I'm definitely not plotting fanfic right now. And now we're standing in the rain. Exarch, please. Young Thaler and Vonard among them, I'm sorry to say. They've quit the guard. Nevertheless, I wish them well. Whatever Elder Bussy's plans for them might be, the pair have only ever had the best of intentions. He blasts diamonds! Stop! Are his balls flesh or crystals? He got he's got two crystal rocks down there. I like how I, the word of orange gel, am the one who brought up the crystallized dick topic. Does this count as honey as like honey potting? Yes. <laughs> if the burning lasts more than four hours. Reuben, do you play Final Fantasy 14? Is there a rain for Cyrus Thirst? I know they know I'm fucking thirsty, so uh, gimme. Nevertheless, I wish them well. Whatever Elder Bussy's plans for them might be, the pair Oh, I only read that. Clink, clink, clink as he walks. Stop. One can hardly blame them for thinking themselves heroes. Elect. Not after having been blessed with the echo. And it's not as if they haven't shown the requisite spirit. Oh, that shot was so pretty. I quite agree. Though the impetus? The impetus for their sudden departure may have been words falsely spoken. Ah, yeah, okay. So I was right. The men and women in whose footsteps they would follow... Our heroes in truth, warriors of light, Ardbert, yourself most of all. And so I would ask a favor of you. Speak with them ere they embark on their journey, and furnish them with what wisdom you can. They've set off the for the Amara launch, but should you be able to catch them? But you should be able to catch them if you leave now. Bro, this man, I know, I know this man did not just ask me to go talk to people. Where are my chopsticks? I lost my chopsticks. 
I found one chopstick. Okay. I'm about to disgrace literally everyone in here who uses chopsticks, but I only have one. Impetus. Impetus! I'm P. Bye, Dennis. Bro, I don't know where my other chopstick is. I'm sorry. I don't know where the other one is. I was eating my ramen today, and then I passed out, and now I don't know where the other chopstick is. I only have one. Mmm! Gyozas. Just get a fork? But it's so far away. Why is my- my chopsticks are in the bed? What? Here chat, you want a bite? Open wide! You know, I did want a normal day, but by normal day, I didn't mean a day where I'm talking to strangers in the Crystarium. Or the effort, I'd say. If I recall correctly, Admiral Merlweb took the time to usher you out into the wilder, wider world many moons ago. I think that comparison rather falter flatters the other and Vonard. But the point still stands. They would doubtless be greatly encouraged for the warrior of darkness herself to see them off. <laughs> if thou art willing, I prithee go. Thou mayest safely leave the task of unfolding that which did transpire at Anamnesis to us. Okay. Well. Gotta go speak with Taylor now. Oh! Did you see that? Pepper? She was healing all over the place! She got healies! <laughs> She's got the drip! <laughs> Do we still want to wear this? Wait, where is it? Did we change my my gear? This is my Crystarium gear. My um, my I just got inf infected with all the light gear. Should I change it? Should I swap to one of these? Auto parasol is really good, yeah. That black outfit looks nice, well, thank you. Which one? <laughs> mm. I do want to change this one. I don't want the thong there. Maybe I'll change it right now. Oh, hey, Vince. Hello. <laughs> you like my current armor? Should I keep it until the patch is over? Wait. I don't remember where to go. Is it the pendants? Yeah. Eh. Okay, I'm on to my last gyoza chat. Say ah! Take a little bite! Oh god. There you go. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I have not looked at the eating gear yet, no. The Hades Dark Sword? Hades Nuts? No, I've not seen it. 
Okay. Let's see here. Where is it? That's Dark Knight. Are you right? Do I have my die on me? I don't. What is this one? Is this jet black? Yeah. Oh, but it doesn't really match. I mean, kinda. Does that look good, chat? That actually looks kinda good. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I'll keep this one on for now. And then... Well, I'm gonna need new Endwalker gear. I'm gonna have to- I'm gonna have to spruce it up for Endwalker. So, you know what? I think we're good for now. You should check out the tombstone and the raid gear when you can. A Shadowbringer's tombstone gear is super easy to get now. You know the long blue jacket I always have on? That's a part of the new Crystarium set. I don't think I know what jacket you're talking about, unless it's the... The ugly one that makes you look like a professor. Is it that one? <laughs> I don't know what- I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, we gotta go to the Amaro lunch. <laughs> Is it the professor one? Oh, I can get them in- in- in Yulemore? Oh, I went to go check it out! But they wouldn't let me! It wouldn't let me, and I don't know if it's because I didn't do the Eden Raids, or if it's because, like, I didn't- Like, I'm not an Endwalker yet, like, I don't know. But I tried, and it said no. I remember. It's not like a top floor, right? This one? Oh, that one! Never mind. I was thinking of something completely different, Sarnix. <laughs> I can see it now. You can't get them until I finish the X.0 quest? Wait, what? Nothing in the world. I can look at it later. You again? Uh, I mean, it's you, Oh, he's got new gear! It's you, milady. Sorry, it's been a funny old day. They both got new gear! Homeboy has hair! Oh, not the sad music. You can be sure we'll take those words to heart. I still can't believe it. You coming all this way just to speak to us? I swear we won't let you down. So long as it helps someone, we'll do what needs to- We'll do what needs doing out there, no matter how small. And when larger threats loom, we'll be ready to face them. You see if we aren't. Should you a thinking? Wonder, danger- wonder and danger weigh you in equal measure, but turn not from either. Well, what are you waiting for? Get out there! No, I'm gonna say that. Wish them well. We'll be off then. Farewell, warrior of darkness. And thank you. I want that salute! I wanna do this! A little bit of fisting. Wait, was that it? Was that all I had to do? Oh, that actually was not that bad. Wait, were you calling this jacket ugly? <laughs> it's Professor Sardix, yes! <laughs> it's not ugly, don't worry! <laughs> I'm just teasing you. But you do look like a professor! <laughs> Every time I see you in that, I'm just like, damn! Fucking Urian J 2.0 out here! <laughs> professor Sarnix, can you bump up my grade, please? 
Professor Sarnix! I failed my math test, but I'm a cute cat girl. Do you think I can get a bonus? <laughs> Ooh, boo. Alt text, an elven man wearing out of fashion gear staring into the camera with a judgmental look in his eyes. Nissan, no! Nissan, no! Oh, Kirby, wait, did you change your, your username? It's more Kirby-ish today, or are you a different Kirby? I don't know if there are any more Kirbys. <laughs> Hi, Kirby! Is that when Pepper does the bend over emote? Yeah, that's when Pepper does this. She go, mm? Oof. And she also do this. We go. Mm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that timing. That timing <laughs> could not have been any better. <laughs> Yo, you gotta pay for that kind of treatment. Hello. Look, no extreme raid progression in my chat, all right? Where did they go? Was it you? No. Was it you? Did was it you? Did you just touch my butt? Do you want to do you want to touch it again? No. Oh. Look, I'm putting on a show for you. Is this not what you wanted? <gasps> yes! Yes! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. See, this is why we have poles in the basement of our FC house. This is where I practice. That's where I go to practice. That way, when I'm out in the wild, I can make a buck or two. We all know I'm struggling out there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is why we have holes? This is also why we have holes. I'm gonna speak to my baby girl. I haven't heard from her in a hot second. Honestly, to listen to all this prattle about the life-changing importance of your words to impressionable young heroes. You could nod mutely in the general direction and then still be inspired. Yeah, like you, you little simp. Why do I still got my umbrella out, bro? Thank you. Thank you for making the effort. I'm certain your words will be a boon to them. Oh, you were away. The others told me of your investigation. We have yet to discuss how to proceed, however. While your findings in Anamnesis and Nider do raise important questions as to the identity of our adversary, we are no closer to discerning his design, nor do I know of any other potential avenue of investigation. For which reason, we must need to trust to Ishtola's ingenuity. Ingenuity. I don't fucking remember how to pronounce that. Ingenuity, right? And wait for her efforts to revive the ancient's device to bear fruit. What if I were to attempt to follow the emissary? Elusive as he is, his plan compels him to court public attention. It shouldn't be impossible to find. Especially for one of your experience, it does seem worth the attempt. Then I'll come with you. Safety in numbers, girl. Yeah, this is too much for you. In combat, perhaps, where stealth is required, the opposite is true. Happily, I don't plan on getting myself caught, so you, you've no need to worry. Famous last words. Thancred, are you the scion that's gonna die? Thancrusy! Alright, then I look forward to your return. No, Thancred can't die, he's too hot. Well, that's what I fucking said about Orshifan, look what happened! Man, is six feet under. And it sounds like the rest of us should avoid doing anything which might prompt Elder Bussy to look too closely at our movements. And so far as it's possible, I recommend we limit our activities to the Casterium. Speaking of which, Exarch, might I ask if you've made any progress within the spirit vessel? Of course. We are presently studying the principles under pinning the principles under pinning memory transference and, I believe, nearing the requisite level of understanding. Less hardingly, practical trials of transference methods suited for wit. Practical trials of transference methods suited for use within or with the vessel have yet to yield satisfactory results, to put it mildly. But there are still many promising possibilities we have yet to test. Okay. 
Indeed, though it may take some time yet, we are well on our way to a solution. And I shall not rest until one is found. Oh, famous last words as well. Oh man, you're too cute to die, bestie. Uh, though we are all grateful for thine unstinting efforts, thou needst not labor to the exclusion of all else. If it would serve to lighten thy burden, however little, I should gladly offer mine assistance. Good boy, quite I- oh, quite! I, for my part, will do what I can to ensure that the Crystarium continues to run smoothly, in spite of recent disruptions. Then perhaps I could help. There must be something I can do, even if it's just guard duty. Oh. Thank you, all of you. I shall breathe easier for your assistance. Of course, on the evidence of the recent past, it will not be long before some new crisis arrives into our plans into disarray, at which time your services will be particular, in particular demand. That being the case, perhaps you might take this opportunity to retire to your suite at the Pendants? Yeah, I go take nappy! I like taking nappy! Oh, it's gonna be sad though! I'm gonna take a nap and I'm not gonna get a visit from Aardvark! One of these methods will work. It must. Of course I don't wish to worry, Lena. Oh, of course I don't wish to worry, Lena. She has more than enough to worry about already, but I swore that I would return you all home. All right, fine. I'll henceforth endeavor to take breaks when appropriate. Well, Lena is watching. <laughs> He's so stubborn, I love him. I will accompany my brother and make sure he doesn't get carried away. You will do as you're told and get some rest, both of you. Oh my god, the sass! <laughs> Honestly, he's a danger to himself. If I were Lena, I think I would have hit him over the head with a blunt object by now. At least then he'd lie down. Alize, my beloved. Alize, I love you dearly. Wait, does that change his dialogue? No. Okay. I love her so much. She's my brat tamer. She's keeping me in check. I love her. Okay. Let's go. So this is the last quest before 5.3, right? Oh my god! Hey, baby, what's wrong? Hey, pumpkin! What's the matter, angel? You looking out the window? Yeah? Yeah, look, there's so much room! You can hang out in here now, mama! It's you like the view, Musica? Hi, my mom. Hi, my mama. Hi, my papa. Hey, you can hang out with mama a bit better now, mamas. You feel this? You feel this hair? Oh, baby boy. Ooh, static. Shock me, baby. What's going on, sweet pea? I think something's bothering him. But if I turn my chair, he'll get scared. Hey, what's going on? What do you see, pumpkin? Hang out with mommy? Do you want me to move stuff? What's going on? What scared you? What scared you, baby? Whatever. Want me to protect you? Huh? Something is bothering him. I want to meet Waldo IRL so bad you will. Don't worry. Hi, Stacy! Yes. Okay, I'm gonna like move my ditto and I'm gonna see if like if he wants to hang out in here or not. I just put the bag of my takeout from earlier on the desk. Oh my god, I'm not wearing my ears, chat. Hi, baby. No one told me to put on my ears. I'm doing MSQ. Chat! Hi, Pumpkin! What's going on? What's going on?
I'm just gonna like wait and see if he's gonna settle down if you don't mind shot. I don't know what got him all spooked, so just give me a second. Drinking some water now. I really like this dog quest. Me too. I just got. I gotta just take care of my baby. I'm sorry. I don't like it when he he gets antsy. My dog gets anxious like very easily. Um, sometimes he like sees things, and yeah, he can uh, he can be a lot sometimes. So. So make sure my baby's okay. I think he's okay. He's drinking his water. This is true. Waldo is more important than you guys and this uh, this game. Hi, Musica. Bubba, come here. It's okay. Do you want to come in here? Come, Waldo. Come on. Hi, baby. Hi, Bubba. had these in a long time. I haven't had these in a really long time.
how gentle he is. Okay, I'm gonna do something disgusting. Okay? Chat? But if you have a dog, you get it, okay? I didn't even get it. like from my mouth um and like i don't know what it is mostly just like with my own food like he's so gentle ever since he was a puppy it's cute to remember her dogs like their own ass true ever since he was a puppy i've been training him to be very gentle with the way that he takes treats like look at him look at him oh he's so he's so gentle <laughs> Cause like he never like touches you. He just like, he goes like you know. Yeah, my mama. Uh, yeah, you my baby. Yeah, my baby. Yeah, my boo. You stay here. Stay here. Oh, you're so heavy. <laughs> Come on. Uh, oh goodness. One more for you. Come over here. Come. You can stay with mama. Come. Good. Come. Are you probably not gonna stay in here? Puppy. I'll keep your snacks here as well. That way you know that when you're scared, you can come in. The eye boobies. Can I see your eyes? Your eyes? Yo. That's my good boy. That's my good boy. You want your little eye boogoos? You want your little eye boogoos? Feeling better now? Look, the tail's all up. You feeling better? Does he look okay? Hey, Pro Sauce. How you doing? Also, hey, Saren. How'd you train him to be gentle? Well, ever since he was a puppy, like, what I, what I would do is I would, like... So, what I first had to do was teach him not to, like, bite people, right? Um, and you do that by, like, playing with them. So, when, like, he would... When we would play, if he would, like, accidentally nip me, I'd go, Ow! And I would, like, walk away. And I would walk away, so he knew I didn't like that. And so then when it came to giving him treats, I would hold the treat, like, very close to my hand. And so if he would nip me, I would say, ow! And he wouldn't get the treat. And so slowly, 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 he would just, ow. But, like, he's a very gentle dog to begin with. So he would never, like, intentionally, like, snatch something from you, you know? Oh, you got a chub! Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, he's just chilling in here. Oh, thank you, Urchin. That's very sweet of you to say. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. He's a good boy. He's a very, very good boy. Look at him. <laughs> he's just like... Hmm? 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 He loves looking out the window. I don't know what he's thinking of when he looks out of it, but... Hi! Bye, Mama! We drink more water. Okay. That's the best way to get them to take gently, is to only give them a small piece to grab. They learn quickly. Oh, yeah. Because, like, it's not even just, like, they learn quickly. Well, I mean, they do. But it's like, it's something that they want. They want to play, and they want the treat. 
You know, it's like a really good motivator. So if they, like, that's how they will learn fast. Like, Waldo is incredibly stubborn, so teaching him things, like, he will understand it, but he won't want to do it. Um, but if it's, like, strictly a food thing or a play thing, he's in. He's all in. Dogs are so dogish sometimes. All right, chat, are we all ready to continue MSQ? We got to go turn in this quest and then starts 5.3. Hi, baby! What is it? What is it? I spaced out. We talking about teaching animals new tricks? Come here, sire. Oh, shut up. Shut up, Jin. just laying on or chiffon. and now I can't move my chair or he'll get scared Ray hi bestie thank you for the five month resub oh I don't, I'm scared of chihuahuas I'm not even gonna lie I like them but I'm very scared of them most chihuahuas I've met have been not the ni nicest. Alright, I think we're good now. I think we can keep playing. Yeah, the CC turns on automatically, but you can turn it off um, whenever you're ready. Like, you don't need to have that on if you don't need it. Okay. All right, chat, are we ready? Are we ready to end 5.2? Oh, Allie, thank you for two months resub. Haven't been able to catch you online for a while, but just wanted to say how much I appreciate all the standing up you did to the wizard game and the crazy people you have to deal with. Thanks for using your position to stand up for us. Of course, of course. I, you know, like what else am I to do with my platform? You know, like, if I'm not using my platform to stand up for my friends and my community, then I don't deserve a platform, you know? Fuck Harry Game. And fuck JK Rowling. All my homies hate JK Rowling. Bro, me opening my, my drawer scared my dog. Musica. It's okay, baby, lay down. It's okay, butternut squash. All right, chat, are we ready? <laughs> are we ready, chat, for 5.2 to end? Let me hear it. Let me see it. I want to see it. Are we ready? Are we ready? Let's go! Alright. I know I have hairpins somewhere here. Found them. Alright, chat. We're doing this. Let's turn this shit in. So you gotta go to the pendants. It's nappy time. It's nappy time for Pepper. And it's nappy time for you too. Go curl up. Hold on, baby. What are you doing? There we go. Now he's curling up again. I love this dog so much. The 5.2C? Not the 5.2C. Let me like fix my my cat ears. My little Miko ears real quick. Mm. 
Oh, you know what's in my head rent free? That like make are you gonna come and slap me? Is this a run and slap situation? Yup. <laughs> How did I fucking know, dude? How did I fucking know? <laughs> um, shit, what was I gonna say? Drive by slappage. Deserved? No, you know what? You're right. Sometimes I think of the of the theme that played but when the Grahatia reveal was happening, you know, like the end like that after we defeated Vothri, I think of that theme and I cry. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It is so it's so good. It's so 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 good. The music in this game is fucking incredible. And then the rat ruins it? I know. What? Dude, you know how fucking dramatic Emmett is? This man? This man could kill someone with a blink of an eye. But no, he had to walk in with a gun to shoot him. Like, he did all that. This man lives for the drama. And you know what? Same, bestie. I'm kind of into it. We need some theatrics every now and again. All right, chat. Look at me and my fellow cat girls. Oh, look, we're standing in like height order. As a pleasure as always, Mistress Mint. I'm relieved to see you were unharmed in the earlier commotion. Though, if I may, you do look somewhat wary. I presume you will be retiring to your suite. I will be. Anna Bananas doting me. Very good. Do let me know if there's anything you require. Alright, chat. Woo! A new eating quest is now available. Nice! Oh, cutscene time! Girl, why do you sleep like that? That is not comfy. That cannot be comfortable. Oh, she's not even asleep. She's having a rough night. I'm gonna go take a look outside. There's no Ardbert tonight. Oh, you gonna go right? You gonna have some tea? What you gonna do? Some water, some warm water, cold water, I don't know. Are you thirsty? Yeah, me too, girl. That. I don't see any, but oh. Mistress Mint? It's Gennard from the Wandering Stairs. I apologize for calling so late. Is it you, though? Oh, shit. No, not skip cutscene. Could you imagine? Oh yeah, okay. That's good. A friend of yours was asking for you. You may remember them from the business with the Cardinal Virtues. Granson? No. Yeah! I didn't think I would be seeing Granson again. Oh, well met, Sinner. Stop it! Stop! What do you want? You're in my chambers? Sir! Sir! Ah! I was looking forward to a welcome respite here in the Casarium, but the mood here is not exactly conducive to relaxation, as I'm sure you've noticed. I had wager you know more about what's going on than anyone else in the city. Care to share? I got you. Sit down, let me tell you the whole story. It's windy. It's a cold night, Granson. 
Would be a shame if uh, the power went out. Hmm. Can't say that I envy you your prey. Dark work, this twisting of the Warriors of Light Legacy. Reminds me of what became of old, <laughs> of old Dick. Though this Asian of yours is a fair bit more chatty. I'm tempted to silence him myself. Brandon made his mistakes. I'm sure they all did. But the past is the past. They've earned their rest. I'm not about to let him sell you Ardbert's good name. I'll see that they have their peace. Yeah, I'm not about to let them sell you Ardbert's good name. Yeah, fuck that. That's my boy. What, you want me to leave it to you? Well, I want you to- I mean, I guess. I guess I'll be a hero. I was gonna say, you can come help me, but- oh. Oh, don't get too close. Right, right. Not the only one carrying all that weight. Very well. But only because you asked. Wait, is this actually him? Remember, if you ever need me, just say the word. I'll be there. Oh. Oh, I will. Oh, I got you. Is this actually him? I hope it's actually him. Because my heart did flutter. He is so fucking hot. Granson is so hot. Like, he's so yummy. <laughs> Look. Oh! For Ardbert! For Ardbert, Pepper! Meanwhile, the Crystal Tower is umbilical. umbilical the umbilical cord. God, the animation has gotten so much fucking better in this game. What a failure. Foiled again. If I cannot imbue the infernal thing with my power via magical means, we may need to devise a way to infuse the vessel with my blood after all. Don't like this. Oh, <sighs> he crackle crackle. The chandelier. Oh, that one well. Finally, we're gonna talk about your busted ass crystallized self. Oh, perhaps a brief respite? It wouldn't do to overtax yourself. I'm fine. Don't lie. And given to stubbornness, I'm afraid. Relatable. Especially when I have a stake in the outcome. Hey, Mood. You know what? I can't blame you. I'm also very stubborn. Braddy Bottom Gang? Uh, okay, so we're gonna have to use his blood, but what does that actually entail? Like, what does this mean? Oh, shit. Wait. Where? Oh! What's going on here? Ashley Tisdale was good, bestie. Damn! Ashley Tisdale looks good! She's not in her chunky monkey like armor anymore. Wait. Wait, I'm- wait, I- wait! Wait, what? I was too focused on Ashley Tisdale looking good! The dream again. Okay. Okay. That answers my question. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the source... A recurring dream. 
They do so fascinate me. Might I trouble you for the details? Why do I know that voice? It's okay, baby. I have always dreamed of it. Fire falling from the heavens and the city, nay, the whole world ablaze. Indeed. Could Emmett Selk have found a way? Precious few possess memories of the final days. What is this? The final days? Why, yes. Admittedly, my knowledge is mostly second-hand, but if you are interested, I will gladly tell you the tale. The Tale of the World's End Why do I feel like I'm getting deja vu? Why do I feel like I'm getting deja vu? Well? Well? I guess we're now into 5.3. Do I keep going? Do I keep going, chat? I, I wanted to save it all for a, a new day, but like, I kind of want to keep going. Okay, we're in a mo only mode, so I guess I'm gonna keep going. Okay, 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 okay. Also, real quick though, show of hands. Who else is down horrendous for Granson? That man, the man who he is. He is so, he is so fucking fine. He is so Oh my god, the man that you are at this hour. Ooh! You will be here until 8 a.m. probably if you do start 5.3. So chat, are we doing an all-nighter? Are we gonna keep going? All nighter, let's go! <laughs> I mean, I have only been streaming for two hours. All right, chat. Let me let me make a tweet. Let me at least tweet that I'm I'm starting five point three. All right. We'll play for another, like, yeah, it's a Saturday, so we'll play for another couple hours. Um, that being said, though, let's take a quick break. My legs are hurting. I want to stretch them. I'll tweet that I'm starting 5.3, and yeah. So, um, see y'all in 15 minutes? Yeah? Okay. I will leave myself here, and, uh... Bid y'all farewell. See you in a second.
<laughs> I'm scared. All right. <laughs> yes, Emmett Squelch, you are summoned. You, you, yes. Yes, hello. It's nice to see you. Welcome back to my humble abode. Um, Chad, I'm scared. Is 5.3 gonna kill me? Is this gonna fuck me up? University of Toronto over Ryerson University? U of T do, does kind of fuck. I'm scared. No, I'll be fine. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm so scared, chat. I'm scared. I'm baby. I'm so scared. I don't. Do you ever just like. Think. Look at yeah, look at all these friends christening christening the 5.3 <laughs> the 5.3 um beginning. Look at this. Everyone knows I'm about to die, and they're who the fuck is fishing? <laughs> nah, who is fishing in the back? <laughs> Someone said fuck y'all. I'm a fish. I'm a fish. Who the fuck is just fishing? Oh my god, May, hello, it's nice to see you, Bean! I'm so scared. Okay, chat. Um, I feel like I need to process the cutscene that I just witnessed. So we are gonna have to use Grahatia's blood. I don't know what that means. Like, is it just gonna be like a little, like a little nick? I don't know. Or is he gonna die? God, he better not die to send us home. And then... And then there's... Okay, I don't... 
Zenos is talking to somebody. Ashley Tisdale has someone in his room. Not you crafting. And I recognize their voice. I don't know why, but I, I feel like I'm just like being dramatic. I probably don't recognize their voice, but I feel like I do. I feel like I recognize that voice. I've heard it. Um, and then, and then, what was the other, oh my god, and then Granson? Granson with the guest appearance? Granson coming in to say hello? Coming in in the middle of the night into my room? Sitting with me at the table and then telling me that, like, if I need him, I just gotta call out to him and he'll be by my side? Oh, I'm gonna fuck that man in my dreams because he's not real. I'll write about it. Don't worry. Fanfic, baby. All right. Okay. Are we ready? Where is everyone, by the way? I want to come visit. Uh, we're in Goblin. Um, in the Crystarium by the Pendants. Come here, the vibes. Come say hoy. Come say hoy. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. Goblin, what? These nuts. So I was Final Fantasy XIV for, uh, fanfic is just going to be smut? Yeah, some of it will be smut, and then the rest of it will just be despair and agony. He isn't real. I don't know. Sounds like a skill issue. True. Person who visits depends on the role quest you did, and if perchance you did more than one or all role quests, it gives you the option of who you think is visiting you. Oh, interesting. Well, I'm glad it was Granson, because I was simping terribly for him. Thank you, Carlton Banks. I appreciate it. Um, I... I'm going to just, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to BRB again. Um, I need to take some Advil. I did not take Advil while I was AFK. I pooped and I peed. But give me like two more minutes, chat, okay? Three more minutes. Two or three more minutes. That was me kissing y'all if you couldn't tell. Is that Vosk? Is that Vosk? Wait, did Vosk just show up? Is that Vosk? Hold up! Oh, oh we have a Vosk! We have a Vosk! And I get kissed! I like how we're all fitting into this into the screen. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, and best girl Anya? I see the baby. I see best girl. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Alright, chat. Are we ready? Are we ready? Is it time? Are we doing it? Are we diving in? Imagine I DC. Do we have our snacks? Did you all pee? Did you all poop? Are we good? Are we prepared? I don't think I'm ready. I'm fucking scared. I have my snacks. 
Daddy! Thank you for the for the sub. Welcome to the coven. I hope your badger must and you say it's nice to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are starting 5.3 of Shadow Bringers tonight. I am scared. Let's change the title of the stream. Okay, here we go. It's, it's happening. It's happening. Okay. Okay. Thank you for the shout out. Have a great stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Woohoo! All right. All right. Okay. God, Sarnix, you're too tall. You're too tall, bestie. You're too tall, bestie. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go, chat. Here we go. 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 Where am I where am I going? Who am I talking to? I don't know. Oh, I'm supposed to talk to the to the to the manager of sweets. Alright. What's up, bestie? The manager of sweets is looking a little anxious. Bitch, I'm looking a little anxious! You think you Why am I so nervous? I don't even know what to fucking expect. You're all getting me scared. Okay, here we go. Ah, Mistress Mint, will you be venturing forth today? Do be sure to take care of to <laughs> do be sure to take care of so. Though they say the star shower was harmless, one can never be too careful. But I concede it is not for me to tell the warrior of darkness how to look after herself. Old habits, you understand. Ah, Pepper! How very opportune! Oh? Oh, it's Mel Menome Morin. Greetings, my friend. Do you perchance have a moment to spare? I guess so. I did just wake up. Wonderful, wonderful. I wanted to thank you, you see, for revealing to us the truth of the Warriors of Light. After all these years, your tales to the record straight. Finally, the people see them as the great heroes they were. Or the great hero he is, in the case of Ardbert. You too were surprised to see him, I think. At the time, I was not certain what to make of it all, but I could see the effect his words had on those around me. And then the stars rained down from the sky and, well, you know the rest. What the flashbang? When the commotion died down, you were nowhere to be seen. But I was determined to express my gratitude. And so here I am. Oh my god, that flashbang emote is my favorite. <laughs> Thank you, Pepper, for giving voice to the truth and restoring the Warriors of Light to their rightful place in history. Should you, perhaps, wish to have your accounts of these matters committed to writing, I'd be more than willing to serve as your scribe. Oh, indeed, if there's anything I can do to help, anything at all, you need only say the word. Bruh. Oh, that was so ominous. The eyes look really foggy. Oh my god! I get it! Please. Spare me. My brother in Christ? Dog? One second. Waldo has been so antsy tonight. Let me go see why he's barking. Hold on. Good boy. Good boy, sugar mama. You'll be the boy. You'll be the boy. Oh my Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi, sweetheart. You come lay down with mommy, okay? Here, relax. It's okay, Boombi. Okay, I know I'm stressed out too. I'm stressed out too, bestie. Okay. Alrighty. What can you tell me about the Warriors of Light? 
Very well. Tell me what the situation is like in the city. Um. Yeah, tell me what the situation is like in the city. The situation in the city? Do you mean the people's awakening as warriors of lights? Well, while questions remain about the circumstances surrounding Ardvar's return, history tells us that what took place may not entirely be unprecedented. <laughs> ah, but to understand that requires an understanding of Warriors of Light in a broader Vrandic Vrand Vrandic context? If it please you, I should be glad to provide an overview. I flatter myself that it may grant you a better grasp of that which is occurring, not only in the Crystarium, but the world at large. Excellent. I shall return to the cabinet at once and look up the relevant text. Pray join me at your earliest convenience. Sounds good. No rest for the righteous, it would seem. Do not let me keep you, miss. I bid you a pleasant day. We do a little bow. All right, here we go. Okay. Wow, everyone vanished. Goodbye, I guess. Okay. Let's see, where am I going? I'm gonna take the etherite. And we gotta go, oh yeah, it's the cabinet of curiosity. Here we go. So we gotta go upstairs here. You know, so far so good. 5.3 hasn't scared me yet. I thought it would start with a bang. I got nervous, but I'm alive. Everything is okay. Ah, Pepper, excellent timing. I have but this moment, I have but this moment finished gathering the materials for our lesson. As a great many works have make bleh. as a great many works make reference to the warriors of light, I shall, with your permission, focus only upon the details that seem most relevant. Mm. <gasps> my babies! All my babies! The warriors of light, you say? Forgive us, but we couldn't help overhearing. Hi, babies. We've been out keeping watch over the Crystarium, but it appears to be business as usual. So I thought I'd spend some time brushing up my knowledge of familiars. And Alfino volunteered to help. I actually came on a different errand, but I'd be interested in hearing about the Warriors of Light as well. The quality upgrade? These cutscenes look so good! May I join you? Thanks, of course, of course. The more the merrier. If you would care to find a table below, I shall be down with the books in a moment. I got a puppy sitting beside me now. He's just chilling. We're one to pour over the annals, annals, right, of Randic history. Only one would note the comparatively frequent recurrence of individuals hailed as warriors of light. Ardbert and his comrades required no introduction, but many others bore the epithet? Epithet long before them, like the title. To name but a few, there was Told the Will? Legendary first king of Lakeland, Rodfer and Solard, the fabled Dron and Gulgent duo Verber of Obert. These are all words. <laughs> and no list of Randic heroes. Oh, oh, Randic! Like, Nor like Norvrant. Oh, okay. A no list of Randic heroes would be complete without the Archmage Tiuna of Ronka. Right. In older text, she too was called a Warrior of Light. Right. And she's the one that possesses the Echo as well, I just think, right? That was, um, the, the Viera. It did surprise me how ready people were to forget the negative associations of the title. But it makes sense if it's been around for centuries. Barely. In ages past, it was simply a synonym for hero. In the wake of the Flood, however, light came to be regarded with fear. The title used not to exult, but to revile. Mm. Or revel. Revel? Revile? 
A far cry from its beginnings. I know what they meant. My alarm! Get away. <laughs> Interrupt my moment. This, my friend, my friends, this, my friends, is Norvran's oldest epic, the original tale of the struggle between good and evil. Okay, the art? In a time when all lay shrouded in darkness, a prophesied hero rose to deliver the world from its doom. Fighting in the name of the light, the hero styled himself its foot soldier, and thus did he come to be known as the Warrior of Light. Curiously, in the centuries that followed, other heroes appeared who claimed the selfsame epithet. I don't even know if pronounce that correctly, despite sharing no discernible connection with their predecessors. And in time, Warrior of Light came to be a name accorded to all men and women of uncommon skill and valor. Mm. Well, well, the plot thickens, just like my soup and Pepper's ass. As you know, the title Warrior of Light is also used in the source. Yep. The manners in which individuals have earned it are many and varied. Heroes have been honored thus since antiquity. I think my chat is bugging out again. I'm gonna open it here. There we go. Nor does the common the cu nor does the custom show any sign of dying out, as you can well attest. It makes you wonder, doesn't it? It surely can't be a coincidence. Indeed not. Let us imagine a man who has awakened to the echo and is able to hear Heidelin's voice. As she styles him, so too does he style himself, the warrior of light. Of course, being blessed with the echo does not in itself make one a hero, and conversely, there will have been no few heroes who were not blessed with it. But such distinctions are immaterial to the masses, and over time they came to use the title warrior of light and the word hero interchangeably. Sounds about right. It would be interesting to see if the theory holds true in other words, in other worlds, if crossing the rift were that easy. I'm gonna world hop? Eidolon did call me a warrior of light. What's in a name? Doesn't change anything. <laughs> and there I was, thinking I was special. Hmm. That's true. Eidolon did call me a warrior of light. I didn't call myself that. I don't think Pepper would say the last one. I'm just gonna go with the top one. She did. I've never heard her voice myself, but I can feel her presence, perhaps through Monfilia. At any rate, assuming all of this is true, and there's a common thread behind the epithet, I doubt the Asians will have been amused. To have the world large associate light, and by extension Heidelin, with good, must have added insult to injury. True. While this discussion is undeniably fascinating, I wonder, should I be privy to it? My half would be better if I excused myself. <laughs> oh, no need for that, my friend. Pray accept our apologies. Your lesson on the words of light has given us much to ponder. Oh, oh, did someone say warriors of light? Oh. Oh no, who dis? Is it Ricky Tio? Are you all right? Oh, my precious tomes! Did I not say you must take care in the cabinet? Oh, you do she just a new baby! Come on! You too, Arkel. Arkeel. Irewell. Bad boys. We're sorry, Master Morin. Aren't you? The warrior of darkness? Ricky you! Ricky you! My name's Ricky Tio and and I want to help everyone. Here. 
hero to be a warrior of light. Oh, girl, I don't know if I should be telling you. I swear to God, I will not forgive you, Yoshi P. I will march to your headquarters, pound on that door, bust my ass in when no one answers, because why would they? Go to your office and, and just fucking... Ah! So, I want to be a warrior of light, but not one that fights with a sword and all that. No, I want to be the kind that fights with potions and heals people, an apothecary, and I'm going to help everyone in the Crystarium. No, in all of Norvrant. When I told Arkeel and Iroh this, they said that the cabinet should have lots of tomes about potions. But this place is so big, and we don't have the faintest idea where to begin searching. This way, I'm not going to get anywhere. If one knew where to look, one should indeed be able to find tre uh, treaties. Treaties? Treatises? Treaties? Treatises? On potions here. Even so, I fear they may prove a little difficult for one so young. But, hmm. Esteemed warrior of darkness, perhaps you might accompany young Riki Tio to Spagarix? Rather than through tomes, I believe she stands to learn more by observing the, sh the Kyurgens at their work. Sounds like a plan. It seems you finished yours, so we'll come with you. Oh, they're going on a little adventure with the baby! Last one to Spagarix is a rotten egg. Ha! I'll have you know I'm really fast! You're gonna be a rotten egg! Oh, oh my heart! My heart! You boogie! Okay, where am I going? Where am I going? Alright, let's see. I do a little TP. I do a little tip. I guess I could just run. Fuck it, I'm running. I'm running. We're going on a mission. She's such a little baby. She's just a little gal. She's just a little stinker. <sighs> she hurts my heart with precious the same. I feel like I'm exploding. <laughs> this says 5.38, yep. And so the road to hell begins. Only cheaters teleport? Exactly, and I'm not a cheater. I'm going on foot. I'm hoofing it. And I have, I'm afraid that I'm the rotten egg and I'm also lost. <laughs> I guess I can go this way. Maybe. No. Oh, I suppose not. I'll take the turn in here and go up here. And then I should be good. Question I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Yo, me too, bestie. Me fucking too. I go in, 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 I go in. I made it! Oh, and so did they. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god, look at her! <laughs> she got a little nub! <laughs> right, I'm here. What do I do? What do I do? Oh my god, she got a little nub! She got a little nub! Oh, I just noticed! Wait, no, is this... Wait... Is this your... Is that your pig? That's not Alize's pig. is not traveling with a pig. Okay, yeah, that's your pig then. Okay. Well now, to what do I owe the pleasure of so many bright-eyed visitors? I feel like I'm going on a field trip. Oh my god, look at her! Is it the way of it, sweetie? You wish to learn about medicine? That's right! I want to become a warrior of light who uses potions to help people all over the world! Let me turn off my alarm. Because it's gonna just keep fucking going. And I don't want it to, babes! Claw. Turning it off. Where's me alarm? Stop it. Thank you. 
Well, that is a very noble endeavor, and you're al you aren't alone in it. No few at our infirmary yearn to venture forth as warriors of lights. But ultimately, they have all decided not to pursue that dream. Huh? Why? Because the people here need them too, sweetie. The guards who place themselves in harm's way to keep us safe. The artisans who toil tirelessly that we might sustain our way of life. And younglings, like you, who are the future of the Crystarium. They couldn't simply abandon them, you see. And so difficult though it was, they made the decision to remain. Then, does this mean my dream isn't any good? <coughs> oh, sweetie, yours is a wonderful dream. And it'll be my pleasure to help you to pursue it. If we all work hard, the day will come when our Chirurgeons may set forth to aid folk in every corner of the realm. As we strive towards that day, I hope that we can rely upon you as well. But I must warn you, ours is not an easy path. No, you must work very, very hard. Oh, I'm not afraid of hard work. I'll become the best apothecary ever. Just you watch. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the spirit. Without further ado, then maybe, then more, oh, then may I entrust you with a task? I've placed an order at Sweet Sieve, Sweet Sieve, for a potion ingredient, and I would like you to go and collect it. <gasps> oh, an ingredient! Leave it to me, miss! I hate it when they type out hee hee. Like, how am I supposed to read that? Hee hee! My, such an abundance of energy. Though I can't help wonder if she'll be alright by herself. My apologies. Would you mind accompanying her? When you arrive at Sweet Sea, you speak with a woman named, uh, Gracine. Gracine. She'll, and she'll point you in the right direction. I got you, babes. I shall join you. As the one who suggested this course to Riki Tio, I would assist her in her first steps. You know, I don't like fetch quests, but if it involves a cute kitten, bet. And what about the two of you? Are you coming along too? Well, we do want to become warriors of light, just not the same kind as Ricky. So we'll wait for you here, warrior of darkness. When you return, please teach us how to fight. Oh, I'll fuck you up. You want me to teach you? In that case, Rina and I shall keep them company and take the opportunity to ask about their aspirations. I don't know if you want me to teach you how to fight. I'm a bit scary. <laughs> Alrighty. Where do I have to go? Oh, by the market! Okay. Am I running? No, I'm gonna get fucking lost. I'm taking the TP. Do it like Goofy? Go yuck? You know what? I should. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Are you wearing- Are you wearing the coven cloak? <laughs> Come back! My people! I guess that's quickest if I just go here and run. This reminds me of when Tataru wanted to become an Arcanist. Oh my god, I forgot about that. And she couldn't do it. She kept fucking up or whatever. Oh, Tataru. But now look at her! She's doing her thing! As the, uh, as the financial advisor or whatever the fuck. Vivid just did 5.3 today. You two are neck and neck. Oh, hell yeah. I swear I saw Vivid um, posting about 5.3 while I was still in 5.2. Did she finish 5.3 today? Also, hi Jay. How are you? It's nice to see you. She gets distracted? Understandable. Pepper demanding a new sign contract that stipulates kitten must be provided on every job. Honestly, listen. I may not like kids, but if they're a me co if they're a me kitten, I'm in. I am absolutely. Where's the baby? Where's the baby? <gasps> if it isn't the warrior of darkness herself, may I assume you're with Master Elf, you know? Right. Lest you wonder, Chesamile's order or Chesamile. Chesamile's order is for grapes. As busy as we have been of late, however, I regret to say we didn't have the time to harvest them. So it's with apologies that I asked Master Alfino and his young companion to help themselves to the fruits of the vi on the vines. Perhaps you can lend them a hand? It's the undersized grapes we'll want to pick. They're too small for normal consumption, but suitable for making wine and medicine. Alright, where am I getting these grapes? Over here? <gasps> There's a baby! There's a little baby! Hello! Hmm, are these small enough? 
my god. I would literally die for her. I- if anything happens to this kitten, I swear to god. I will never forgive them for the jump scare I got in Heaven's Ward when they almost tossed a child, like, off a roof. Do you remember that shit? Oh my god. Okay, Ricky, how is he going? Oh, you're here too? We're picking little grapes. It's quite fun. Here you go. I got three bundles for you. Wow, you picked this mini already? Amazing! I dare say we have enough between us. Shall we take them back to Chesamiel? I can't wait to see what she's gonna do with them! Tell me, Ricky. What made you want to become an apothecary and warrior of light? Why? Well, a while ago, I fell sick. Really sick. My body was burning up and I felt so weak I couldn't even get out of bed. Then a traveling apothecary came and gave me a potion to drink. It was the foulest thing I'd ever tasted, but it made me get better! Oh, they gave her Buckley's. Understandable. She was so brave. The apothecary, I mean. She went around taking care of people, even when it was dangerous. And I decided I wanted to help people, just like her. So I started bringing potions out of grass and giving them to my friends. But I didn't really know what I was doing or if there was anything else I could do. Then not long ago, a neighbor told me he was going to become a warrior of light and go traveling the world, helping people. And I thought, that's the same as, that, as what I want to do. I see. Out of curiosity, what did your neighbor do in the end? Thaler? <gasps> it's Thaler. I haven't seen him for a bit, so he must already be out there looking for people to help. Thaler, one of the guards awakened by the star shower. Hmm? Huh? Thank you for sharing your tale with us, Ricky Tio. I myself took inspiration from one not unlike your traveling apothecary, and I hope her good example will spur you on to realize your dreams. But it will not be done in a day. Such lofty goals are reached through hard work and persistence, through countless little acts of heroism. Heroism. Like delivering the grapes to Chesamiel. There she goes! There's a baby girl! It would seem I've been laboring under misapprehension. I convinced myself that it was Elder Bussy who had sowed the desire to become warriors of light within the hearts of the people. But I see now that the impulse to aid their fellow man abided with them from the first. Elder Bussy did no more than give it a name. And as he so kindly proclaimed, we must return to our world ere long. With the extract laboring tirelessly, I doubt not that I doubt not but that a way will be found. But I believe I speak for all of us when I say I cannot leave in good conscience. Not until we have dealt with El Elder Bussy. Um, that reminds me. Am I gonna have to go complete the Eden quest line now? There's no longer a strange and distant land after- Oh, this is no longer a strange and distant land after all. Norvrant has become a as a home to us, and her people our own. Hmm. Let's turn to Spagrix. It wouldn't do to it wouldn't do to keep your admirers waiting. I don't have to. I finished it before starting and walker, but it's not necessary. Okay. So it's not gonna be like the first ones where I had to complete the first eight. Well, I randomly started following you on Twitter and I'm downloading Final Fantasy 14 because of it. You're welcome! Welcome to hell! You will not see the light of day for a very long time. I hope you are prepared for that. Eden is after 5.3 anyway. Can't do the last four until 5.3 is complete anyways. Oh, okay. Perfect. So I'm good then. We're chilling. Good to know. That's reassuring to say the least. Okay. Let's go back. I guess I can go back this way. This might be faster. I think so. Waldo is back beside me. 
He can't decide where he wants to lay down. All he knows is that he wants to be with his mommy. <laughs> you can probably see him like pacing back and forth. <laughs> What's up? Welcome. Do I still have my my glam? I think I moved it. Because I was replacing things with other other outfits. Fuck. I gotta grab my my coven glam again. <laughs> Alright, where am I going? Going past this way. Oh, look at the baby! Oh, she made it! Oh, she made it! Thanks for helping with the grapes, Warrior of Darkness! In return, I promise to brew you a potion one day! My thanks for your kind help, sweetie. We now have all the ingredients we require. From the grapes, we shall make a vinegar, to which we will add elf grass and a few other herbs to produce an invigorating syrup. Though it's unspeakably sour, it does wonders for the constitution. As part of her studies, I may just have to give Ricky T a little taste. <laughs> Go yuck! Is that what you want to chat? <laughs> Gosh. Oh my god. Do I have to talk to all the kids? Are these going to be all side quests? Heroic dreams. Irwell regards you expectantly. Warrior of Darkness! If you finish helping Ricky, won't you show us some fighting? Not play fighting, but honest to gods fighting? I don't know about that one. We already have some enemies that you can deal with. Vampire bats! The guards say they've become a pest around the Crystarium of late. We tried to sneak outside to hunt them, but the guards caught us and sent us home. But they shouldn't mind you if you were doing the fighting and we were watching. <laughs> the children told us as much while you were away. And in preparation, Chesamile kindly furnished us with some lures for the bats. While the creatures won't give you any sport, bear in mind the young ones will be watching. That's to say, Put on a good show, yes? Right, let's head outside at once. Everyone, follow me. Alize gives really good, like, student teacher vibes, you know? Alize, wait, just a. <sighs> Come on then, children. Why is this so precious? It literally feels like I'm going on a field trip with, like, the kindergarten kids, and then the, like, high schoolers <laughs> are, like, um, guiding them around. Uh, Sweet Alize at the Exart Gate. Oh yeah, okay, so I can just TP there. Maybe I should have said I was thinking about selling it in here before I actually went through with it. Mm, do it. Do it. What's stopping you? What is actually stopping you? Nothing, right? Yeah, Pepper's the chaperone. I'm the parent that's been, um, that's been invited to a company. Y'all remember when, like, parents would join, um... Like, they would be, like, parent guests or whatever to, like, help escort the kids and shit. Iconic. Everyone's here. Good. Let's get started, shall we? As her name suggests, vampire bats feed on blood. And originally being nocturnal creatures, they've grown more active with the t return of night and become a nuisance. Oh my god, chat, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Him. Sleeping on Orshafal. He's conked out. He's so conked out. I couldn't figure out how to do it for free. Maybe because I technically signed up for free trial a long time ago and did nothing with it. Ooh, yeah, your free trial probably passed. But I mean. I think it's still worth it. The game, you do have to pay for the game, and there is a sub, but show me the beans. Let me see if I can resume. You see those toe beans? Look at him. Look at him breathing. He's alive.
All right, check Twitter in a second, chat. I got you. I'll post those on my alt Twitter. There you go. Can I get a link or something to the horse later? Yeah, I got you. Send me a DM. I'm not gonna be- I'm not gonna lie, I like how Salt Out of the Stream has been devoted to Waldo. Yeah, well he's being very needy today. That's his fault. My alt Twitter is Rayonera. R-E-O-N-E-R-R-A. He saw the future? <laughs> he did. He saw the future. <laughs> Just like Bond! Baldo is literally Bond from Spy Family. Truly iconic. You have lots of Orshmert? Horsham? Oh. Horshmert merch? I do. I have two keychains. I don't know where the other one is. I have this keychain here as well, this plushie. I have the photo that I printed with the four tom um, frame that I ordered. And I have, oh, I have that little print. I have, actually, I think that's it. Oh, and I guess like this kind of counts. I have the Blackest Night Zine, which has some Orshifa in it and like mentions of him. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, there's this like really depressing comic that has the boy in it. Like, I'll link you to my Orsh Charms and my Destiny's later too. Hell yeah. I'm not a standy person. I prefer getting um, models and like statues. So I think I might commission someone instead. All right, here we go. Let's get back into this. To draw them out, we'll use Chesamile's lures, which work by exploiting their heat seeking behavior. The bats are wont to nest under the eaves, so you are like to attract more if you place lures near buildings. I have six lures here. Oh, I, I have here six lures, three each for you and me. As proof of a successful kill, I want you to gather up their fangs. Whoever collects the most is the winner. Oh, you're hunting too? Yeah, yes! Well, there's nothing like friendly competition to bring out the best in Pepper. Anyway, while we hunt the bats, the two of you are to stay with Reen. She's really strong too, and will keep you safe. I love Alize. We got this Alize. Without further ado, then let the contest begin. Hell yeah, bestie. Hell yeah. Alright, I... Oh my god. So many opportunities. We'll go to this one over here. Let's go grab some fangs. Healing? No, just with the heat lure. Right. I love the way the bats look in this game. Look how cute they are. They look like little void bats. I love them. I love them so much. Can't remember the last time I have fought an enemy that had the MSQ icon above its head. All right, let's go grab some more. This is gonna be long, isn't it? Alrighty, alrighty. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? You know, I didn't think that we would start off 5.3 with some fetch quests, but I mean, I feel like I shouldn't really be too surprised. 
This game does have a habit of just tossing me into them. Whether I want them or not, they become a part of my, my daily routine. Okay, but this is fun though. This is cute. I think this is cute. I'm just interested in to I'm interested to see how this is going to like go with the plot. Ooh, three of them. Will I be able to get two fangs here? Because there are three. So I have to run around aimlessly. What do you mean? What do you mean that only counted as one? Hey, yeah. Uh, wait, I want to use my other. I want to use my other mount here, because it's just like it fits. Mm -hmm. I may not be able to fly, but <laughs> I could do this. <laughs> Fetch quest and chaperone duty better than trauma. This is true. Three locations. That's true. Three locations, not three fangs. I got excited. Was, I thought it was way shorter than it was supposed to be. This is even worse. Damn it, Ali Z! Oh, I fucking backed myself up into a corner. All right, this way. This way. Hi, senpai. Do you want me to call you Red Senpai? How are you, Red? What class is this or job or whatever? This is uh, Dark Knight. It is the tank class that you pick up in the second expansion of this game. It's very fun, and it's what I mean. You like harness like dark magic basically. Um, and you wield a big claymore. It's super cool. Oh, first expansion. Yes, my bad. Sorry, the first expansion. Heaven's Word is the first one. Because I was like base game, second game, third game. My bad. Because in my head, I always go like one, two, three. <laughs> oh, over here. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. Alright. More baths. More baths. Why was why were these ones so much faster to kill than the first one I was fighting? The first one I was fighting was like tanking me. Two point, the numbering system makes it weird too. Yeah, because Heaven's Ward is 3.0. Like what? It does, yeah, it doesn't make sense. I always fuck it up in my head. Kind of tricky when the base game is technically a remake. True. Because A Realm Reborn, like the one that I've played is 2.0, right? Or something like that? Or is that just post? I don't even, you know what? I don't even want to know. Correct? Yeah. Like what? Like why? This will this world looks like Forspoken. I really want to play that game. I've been hearing a lot of good things. Like screw what the people are saying about the uh, the dialogue. The people who have actually played the game have been saying that it's a lot of fun. So I think I might give it a try one of these days. Would y'all be interested in a first um, a first hand experience of Forspoken on stream? Boop, boop. Beep. Boop. Boop. Yeah? Hell yeah. Alright, as long as y'all are interested. Always interested in Sire streams, so yes, thank you, Mango. That's very sweet. Maybe that can be a break game between Shadowbringers and Endwalker? Yes, that could be. We'll see. We will see. I know during my break between Shadowbringers and Endwalker, I'm going to be, um... I'm gonna be doing some like editing. Like I'm gonna try to like uh, post stuff on TikTok and shit. Just get my content in in order. Well fought, Pepper. The children were hanging on your every move. As was I, to be honest. Though I know the tally. May I see your fangs for good measure? Where's Alize? There she is. Thank God she's okay. Apologies for the wait. My fangs. Not a bad haul, if I do say so myself. Oh! Sorry, excuse me. Five, six, seven. Seven fangs from Alize. 
which means that we have a draw. Pepper also collected seven fangs. Hell yeah. Arr, why does this feel even worse than losing? Just another measly fang and victory would have been mine. Don't look so surprised. I have no intention of remaining lost in your wake forever, you know. Are we gonna fight? Do you wanna fight me? Are we gonna brawl? Are we gonna brawl from these kids? Oh, children, you've now seen the Warrior of Darkness in action. What are your impressions? Just incredible, miss. The bats were down before they knew it. Our guards are strong, but the Warrior of Darkness is much, much stronger. We want to be just like her. Good. If you're looking for an example to emulate, you may as well pick the best. I want you to remember how you felt when you watched Pepper and train hard. Keep at it for long enough and you'll be strong too. If you don't mind telling us, when did you decide that you wanted to become Warriors of Light? Well, we were, we were there listening with everyone when Ardbert appeared, but I've wanted to be strong since before I came to the Crystarium. The Sin Eaters killed my father. Oh, the Sin Eaters killed my father and my sister, you see. And I promised myself I'd learn how to protect people one day. Like Ardbert said, this is our home. We're the ones who have to protect it. We're the ones who have to rise up as new warriors of light. What about you, Arkeel? Me? To be honest, I'm still not sure what I want to do. But if my friends were in trouble, I know that I would want to help them. And I want to go on adventures with them. See the world. That's a wonderful goal. You really think so? It's hard to explain, but it's something I felt when I saw the star shower the other day. I felt as though there was something I'd lost, and that I had to go out there and find it. Well, for the both of you, there's nothing for it but to train. When we return to the city, I'll teach you some exercises you can do by yourselves. Hell yeah. Thanks for showing us your fighting skills, Warrior of Darkness. We'll never forget it. Bye! And there they go. Alright, now let's discuss things. Oh. I understand how Arkeel feels. The star shower didn't awaken me to Hydaelyn's voice, but that vision of the final days of Amarat burning filled me with sadness to the very pit of my being. Things I once knew, people I once loved, promises I once made, it felt as though long forgotten memories were dancing at the edges of my mind. But when I try to focus on them, they simply fade away. An effect of having a fractured soul, I shouldn't doubt. But less you worry, I'm perfectly happy to remain fractured and having and have no intention of donning an Asian mask. I just wish we knew what Elder Bussy was plotting. <laughs> Look at this pair of incurable brooders. If we're gonna stand around, lost in thought, we may as well do it back in the city. Rest assured, Reed and I will take the children from here. Their heads will will be in the clouds after meeting you. We will see to it their feet remain firmly firmly planted on the ground. Alize! We must have been a guest of our It's nothing. Just a dizzy spell. Seems I tried a little too hard to beat you. Wait, no. No, 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 and Ishtola would be the first to fucking freak out, and Alize would be the last because she was. No, 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 no. Do not have my. No, no. Yoshi P? I'm watching you. Don't you dare. Don't you dare hurt my baby girl. Mm mm. Be on sight. I'm fine now, not to worry. I'll see you soon. You should be do not hurt my baby! Bro. <laughs> Enough! <gasps> As you ponder Alize's words, you are taken by an urge to revisit the scene of that fateful meeting. 
Why? 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 Why do you want me to go through that? What? For what purpose? Man. I hate it here. I hate it here. I hate it here. Skim's like, oh, you know what would be good right now? Crying! Do you want some misery with that? Yeah? I got you. Come hither. Okay, so the lookout was like over here, right? I have to walk up here? Yes. The counter has been too static. I know, it's stuck at 39. It's gotta go up, huh? I miss Ricky already. Ricky Tio, come back to me, my little baby poopy pants. Save me from this. I thought that said the Baldwin. The Alec Baldwin. Alright, Waldo's gone, so I can uh, I can relax a bit more now. <laughs> Why? Why? What is gonna happen here? Why are you all here? What is gonna happen? Why? <laughs> Why? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> if someone is giving me hot chocolate, I swear to God. Oh, it's a cloak. Thank you. Thank you for the cloak. I will put it on after the cutscene. Don't worry. Thank you. I almost forgot my own uniform. Oh, and a purple umbrella. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Okay. Okay. Nah. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, um, let's do the thing. I'm... Thank you for the head pets. I appreciate it. <laughs> it's so Protect me! Protect me! Don't let anybody see me! Keep me hidden! Keep me concealed! <laughs> okay. Alright. Well, <laughs> okay. Elder Bussy? A vision? Oh. <laughs> Why am I... Was it you who called me here? <laughs> you went, eh! Pepper went, eh! <laughs> so Sorry! <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. On behalf of the- On behalf- Wait, whoa, wait, okay, wait. On behalf of the convocation, I bid you welcome to our order. <laughs> Sorry. At time- Wait, these guys have darker masks. I think they're red. At times you will stand with us. At times you will stand against us. All that you might steer mankind in the very start upon their true course. Afro Nut 69, thank you for the prompt sub. 
For yours is the seat of Elder Bussy, the emissary, and by this name shall your every action be guided. So you peered into my memories. No matter. You will have found little of import. But I see you intended to summon me here no more than I intended to come. The fault is mine. Such is the burden of hope. Give back Ardbert's body. Why must you embroil the people in your plans? What are you plotting? No, I'm gonna go with the fucking first one. <laughs> what fool would relinquish his weapon on the eve of battle? God, his voice is so loud. When the game does this, like, that so which scared. I do is no different from that which you have done so many times, Warrior of Darkness. I arm myself, I hone my skills, I make ready to vanquish my enemy. You. You who have murdered my brothers, who have taken their selfless labors in service to the one true world and turned them to ash. What are you talking about? Damn I it. see you for what you are. You are death. And only in death shall you serve any purpose. But I'm a cute character. The convocation girl. charged me to steer mankind and the very star upon their true course. As a Lydibus, it is my duty, and I shall see it done. I will strike you down. Yeah. Destroy you, body and soul. All else must wait. Ere long, I will come for you, warrior of darkness. And I will save the world. Bro, he got jump scares in this game? What the fuck? One last matter. What's up? I bore witness to your final struggle with Emmet Selk. It seemed as if he saw something familiar in you. As if he mistook you for another. Oh yeah, Hithlodeus called me his um, new old friend. I forgot about that. Oh yeah, I fucking forgot about that whole fucking sequence. And they were also upset that like they didn't create a, a no. thorough memory of them, right? I recall not of whom he spoke. Mayhap I never knew you, or mayhap it is another fragment lost. Ah, I wasn't aware you already had a guest. If the conversation is constructive, I shall not intrude. Mr. Bridgerton? He's glowing! But if you seek to stir up trouble, he looks like an ether crystal. then I must insist you leave at once. Looks like a little ether you think if he... Would I gl... <laughs> Though you lack her blessing, your soul is surprisingly dense. Hmm. Are you good? Worry not. I seem to be unharmed. Did you just like tickle your pickle? Like what happened there? Yeah, let's focus on the on the shiny arms real uh, quick. This. This is my own doing. The consequence of my recent exertions. It is the tower's way of. How are we just moving on from that? What happened? Rest assured, it is no great inconvenience at present. 
Indeed, I told Beck Lug as much, but they would not be persuaded and sent me away to rest. No need to make a fuss. Strange as it may sound, I consider it something of a badge of honor. He's gonna One be of a the full brave souls by the end who of saw me delivered unto the first once said that the world shall ever have a place for tales of heroism so long as we have need of inspiration in our lives. Though he and his fellows had no way of knowing whether their mad scheme would amount to anything, they knew that the attempt alone would inspire hope. Or so they hoped. <laughs> a more optimistic lot one would be hard-pressed to find. They said they would find a means to save our God's forsaken world, just as soon as they had sent me on my way said it with such confidence that, for a fleeting moment, I half believed them. Such faith, such courage in the face of unrelenting despair. For a long time, it was more than I could bear to remember them. But having come this far, Having sent full many on their way myself, I see things more clearly. To take action is to hope. To believe, to choose to believe, is to take the first step towards a brighter future. Beautiful. And why do I tell you this? Because I want you to indulge me in a little recklessness. Needless to say, I have a plan, and when all is said and done, I will ask yet another favour of you. <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> You're both here. Oh, thank goodness! <laughs> She's just like, fuck, you're ruining What's my wrong? moment. <laughs> It's Thancred. He's collapsed. And so it begins. And so it begins. And so it begins. And so it begins. Oh! Oh my god, okay, okay, okay. Oh, and I was just, and I, and I was just getting it on with Mr. Grahati. You know, I was, si look, I was sitting there. I was sitting there thinking, damn, he looks kind of good. He's looking kind of fun. Am I simping? And he's like, indulge me in some recklessness. And I'm like, <laughs> get one dub just one just one i would just like one oh y'all left i was gonna i was gonna put on my fucking outfit i was gonna put on my cute ass fucking thingamabop wait can i not cast glamour on it no i can wait where is it i was gonna put this on but y'all are gone so you know what? I'll wear it alone. Wait, this is gonna put me in the cutscene in this. Wait, I don't want to wear this in the cutscene. Hold on. Thank you. Wait, no, not this one either. Where is it? We saw what happened. We saw what happened when I wore the pig outfit. And for those who missed it, let me give you a let me give you a quick reminder of what happened. Where is it? Where is it? Um. 
Let me just. Let me just. I will see you safely home. I will. So you know what? <laughs> I I don't think I don't think I want a repeat of that one. <laughs> need any more Peppa Pigs. God, look at his arms. Like, okay, chat, indulge me. Indulge me. So do you remember when we were talking about fisting? Do you think... Do you think, like, the skin here is thick enough that, like, you wouldn't see the blue... And like, do you think that his crystal tower would also be going? It's a valid question, okay? It does not mean that I um, want to explore that possibility. It just means that um, I would like to approach the subject just lightly. For science, for research purposes. Your abdominal muscles are pretty opaque. You need to be stretched thin for it to glow through. <sighs> ah, like butter on bread. Boss, thank you for the one year resub. I miss you so much. How are you? All right. All right. Ready? We're good to go? The fates seem determined not to allow us a quiet moment. But come, let us have, de have the details from Rain. Hold on a second. Did I just miss a sub? Oh, Alec, thank you for the eight month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Pickle tearing Morse? Fermented lingonberries? Hey yo, they got IKEA food here. I really read that as the horny croissant. Croissant. Okay. I'm anxious. Fraying threads? I don't I don't I don't like this. I don't like this. Green's face is a picture of worry. It happened after Alize and I slid children back to Sp to Spagarex. We chanced to meet Thanker there returning from his mission. He'd been shadowing a litibus around the realm, only to lose sight of him near the Crystarium. He was in the middle of telling us where he'd been when he just crumpled to the ground. The Chirurgeons are looking after him now, with Alfino standing by, just in case he his healing magics are needed. Since I couldn't do anything to help, I thought it best to find you, and the guard of the ex Exedra told me where to look. I see. It cannot have been easy leaving Thancred's side. My thanks for bearing word to us. Come, let us hurry to Spagarex. I swear to god, chat. I swear to god. If anything happens to dad cred, is his daddy arc over? He had he had the the thought arc. We had thought cred, dad cred, and now dead cred. Fan cred, fan dead, fan dread, fan dread. Okay. Bye, Apple. Bye, Apple. I have to go over here, right? Yeah. Oh, he's up, at least. It appears a friend has already awakened. For that, at least, we can be thankful. Yeah. Kareen found you, then. We had to send the children off earlier than planned, but they understood. They tracked you here too, did they? My apologies. How do they- how do you feel? Embarrassed? But otherwise well enough. I won't be staying overnight. 
This episode was not the result of any injury I could find. Thancred's ether, however, did show signs of instability. And I did what I could to calm the fluctuations. Hmm. And all this happened without warning? Exactly. If you tell me you had a headache... Or a dizzy spell... You will doubtless recall the time where Yanjin nearly drowned and I gallantly went to his rescue. Oh, fuck! When his water walking charm failed, he was tired, as were you when you got back. We were both spent, yes, on account of which you begged us to rest, which in retrospect may have been a good idea. Fact is, I've been experiencing regular bouts of lightheaded lightheadedness ever since, but there's no actual fainting until now. As Alfino observed, I have no lingering injuries, and it most assuredly isn't old age, which leaves but one likely cause. The link between body and soul has weakened further. Time grows short. We must complete the spirit vessel with all haste. To that end, Pepper, might I trouble you to make a trip to the source? In addition to looking in on our friend's bodies, I would have you consult Kryle about our plan. If he has any concerns, we should at least endeavor to address them prior to proceeding. Mm. I'm gonna get stuck! I'm gonna get stuck and I'm not gonna be able to come back to the first! Something's gonna happen because of Xenos and all that motherfuckers over there! Oh no. Ah! What did he say? I missed it! Um... In the meantime, we should- we should get back to laying bare Elidibus's plot. Thus far, I have learned this much. That in each of the places he has visited, there have been sightings of suspicious black clad strangers. Moreover, the coming of these shady individuals have invariably coincided coincided with some manner of misfortune. Beast terrorizing settlements, blight ravaging crops, uh, you know the sort of thing. All of which serves rather conveniently to make Elidibus's call for new heroes reverberate that much more loudly in the hearts of his audience. They think these black flag strangers are Asians. They do, and I fully intend to investigate further, though for that I shall require additional feet on the ground. You can count on me. Cosmos have been itching to get out there for a while. Map Orianger too can be prevailed upon to join you in your efforts. Ooh, I don't know about that. He's already provided copious guidance on the matter of the spirit vessel's construction. This Rebecca Lug and I should wrestle with the rest. But he's also gonna be fainting too. Do you all want to go and faint together? What if you all? Okay. Well, if you can spare the old boy, we may as well make use of him. I'll go and give him the good news. You'll do no such thing. However heedless you are in your well-being, if you care at all for Rune's feelings, you'll stay in bed until you're needed. Alfino and I will find Orianger. Oh. All being well, we will have news to share by the time you return. Safe travels, Pepper. Aye aye, soldier. Salute. How do they salute in the game again? Like that or whatever? Or was it like that? I don't remember. Okay. Um. Oh, I'm going to the source, right? Speak with Tataru in the Rising Sands. Rising stones. Okay. Yoink. 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 <sighs> Arm straight across the heart. The abs. Arm diagonal over the heart. What? Like this. Chat, I'm I'm fucking nervous. I I have a really big suspicion that I'm gonna get stuck. Something's gonna happen that's not gonna be able to make me go back, and it's gonna delay everything. Beautiful, amazing, and you're brooding. You're just gonna sit here and brood? You're not gonna- you're not gonna listen to the beautiful music that's happening here? Not gonna turn around? Wow. Gorgeous. No singing? Just- just the bard playing little tunes? <laughs> what is this? Sing me another song in place- in the place such as Revenant's Toll information- Why am I getting distracted? No! Go! <laughs> I know the cult- the cult is culting! The cult is culting, my friends. As they should be. <laughs> Pepper! What excellent! I mean, awful timing! 
You see, our friends, they've taken a turn for the worse. Carl's hardly had a moment's rest these past few days. We didn't want everyone to worry, so we've been keeping it quiet. Oh, but listen to me. I call myself a receptionist, and I haven't even bothered to ask you why you're here. Uh, for the same reason. So they think the spirit vessel will be ready soon, and they want to make sure there are no problems at this end. Mm. You better talk to Kryle. Am I finally going to see the bodies? It's with the others in Dom's respite. Let's go and see her. Just prepare yourself, all right? Oh my god, okay. Enter Dawn's Respite. Sataru, can you even reach that? <laughs> Excuse us! Oh, this is so ominous. This way. babies oh my god at least they're in their cozy jam jams I would rather you hadn't seen this. I'm sorry. We have urgent tidings. Cut echo in here? Oh my god. Oh, no, no, I'm not angry with you. On the contrary. I know full well how hard everyone has been searching for a way to return home. And I had hoped to afford you the time you needed. But given our friend's present state, perhaps it was for the best that you came. Stiff and cold. All of them, as if they were made of wax. Oh. Barely alive at all. been doing so well, save for occasional signs of etheric instability, they appeared to be in passable health. Then, quite without warning, things took a turn for the worse, a change for which even Master Matoya could offer no explanation. She could only remind me that the soul is yet an unknown frontier that much and more lies beyond our ken. But let's not lose heart just yet. At times like these, it is all the more important that we remain positive. Why? I but this moment succeeded in quelling a fluctuation in Thancred's ether. Oh good! That's good news. And while the others have weakened, they have remained relatively stable. I believe I may leave my post for a moment. So come, let me hear your tale outside. Okay. No 
if I'm comfortable leaving them, but okay. God, Pepper is so pretty. Am I allowed to simp for my own character? Can I do that? Can I? Is this morally acceptable? She is so pretty. Like, I look at her in some cutscenes and I'm like, she's gorgeous. Like, and I know, like, it's kind of difficult to, like, make, I guess, like, unique looking characters in this game because, like, there are only so many options you can get. But, like, Pepper is so pretty. Look at her. Her little earrings, her little bow, and her round cheeks. She's got the chubby cheeks. And her, like, olive-y brown eyes. <sighs> Think? Is that the... that one? Yeah, I f I just... I just... I just... I love her. I love her. I love her so much. That's best girl. That's best girl right there. Look at her. Look at her. Look at this face and tell me that this isn't best girl. Look at that. Look at that face. Look at that little face. Okay. <sighs> The glamour, armor, etc. kills it. Nailed it. Thank you. Yeah, look at this, like, combo. The, like, the neck piece and everything. Like, she just... She's killing it. She's killing it. I <laughs> mean, the cosplay she's doing right now? Should I do a pepper cosplay? Like, a proper one? I could, like... I could totally do, um, this fit. And especially this one. I think, honestly, I can even put together, uh, this one. This is easy. I could do Warrior Princess Pepper. I could even do Warrior Bride Pepper. Or Warrior Queen, rather. Warrior Princess and Warrior Queen. This one is so sick. If I do my Hroth cosplay, it'd be fun to do a Pep slash Keaton photo shoot. Bet. Let's do it. Do it for final day of endwalkering? I should. I'm thinking about going to FanFest chat. And I have two cosplays in mind. Or three. I don't know which one I'm gonna do. Do you want me to, to tell you what they are? Or should I leave it a surprise? Because I'll do them regardless. If I go or not. Look at all this dog hair I have on me. Leave it a surprise. A surprise? All right. It's not the Ishtola one. No, that one I'm talking about because I'm very excited for it and it's like slutty, so I don't want to wear it um, at a con. I don't feel comfortable doing that anymore after lots of harassment. Tell us mods. No, 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 no. No, you guys don't get special privilege. God, look at, look at all this Waldo hair. This is from snuggling him when he was like whining. <laughs> All right. Phew. Let's go. Onward. What news from the first? My scabbard got shorter. My scabbard got My scabbard got shorter. I see. Work on the spirit vessel proceeds apace, but our friends begin to falter. As they themselves observed, the link between body and soul has weakened. It is as simple as that. For now, I'm still able to quell the fluctuations in their ether, but it's only a matter of time. We'll lose them if we don't act soon, so if the Exarch is ready to attempt something, let him attempt it. As for the spirit vessel itself, if we draw, if we seek to draw upon Alligan wisdom, we could do worse than consult an expert in the field. And I think I know just the man. Gaius? Am I thinking correctly? Time being against us, it may be best if I go solicit his aid in person, even if it does mean leaving my patience. Oh, more of this. Um, oh, look at the silver pieces. Thank you. Food for the soul. Oh, I'm just speaking to Taru. 
Judging by her sheepish expression, Tataru has a favor to ask. Um, Pepper, could you spare a moment? Well, Kral goes and finds this, like, expert of hers, I mean. It was a gift I was hoping to send to our friends in the first, you see. And since we might be waiting a while, I wondered if you wouldn't mind giving me a hand with it. My first attempt turned out well. Whoa. My first attempt turned out well, so I'm, now I'm going to make it properly. I'll be in the kitchen at the House of Splendors. Meet me there. Is she going to make them food? Well, I'd better be off too. I shall see you soon, either here or at the house, depending on how our patients fare in my absence. Okay, you speak with Tataru. Where am I going? I'm leaving here, okay. Gonna make them food? Is it gonna be lemonade? Are you gonna give them piss? Is it gonna be pie? Is it gonna be stew? Is it gonna be curry? What is it? Excited. I am on 5.3. And I'm struggling to stay mentally sound. How's the fur baby? <laughs> Waldo's good! Holy fuck! He's got fucking jump scared! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yo! Holy shit! Alright, we're chillin'. Tataru is adorable and the sweet soul she is. She's a sweet babu. She is a sweet babu. It's like... It's very funny that they have... Kryle and Tataru working together, like two of the Lalafell are put to work together. Like the two little sweet beans. <laughs> like, hey, hey, what's up? Oh, I have to go up there. I'm all by in. How you doing? When the heck did you get in here? Oh, hello, game. Right here? Yeah. Oh my god. Look at her little hat. Here you are, Pepper. As I'm sure you've guessed, the gift is a bit of a home cooking. Unlike Kryle, I can't do much to help our friends directly, but that doesn't mean I've been idle. No, I've been doing my best for the order, taking on this job, and then and that to keep our coffers full. I've even helped out with Ishgardian restoration. In the course of all this, my culinary skills have come on quite a bit, so I thought, why not make something for our friends? Speaking in the oven even as we speak. Shouldn't be long now. What is she baking? She's slicing it? Is it cake? There! Baked to perfection, even if I do say so myself. It's bread. You... Pepper and I truly, truly, Pepper and I are the same person. It's bread. <laughs> she made, she made them bread. Emberwick, thank you for the eight month resub. It's been a minute, it's been so many Pepper moments, but glad to catch a stream now. Welcome back, Ember. How you doing? How great that this game has a microphone and captures what you say for the options. I know, right? This game, like, I even, like, when something interesting happens, I even go like this, and Pepper goes like that, too. Like, I feel like it's kind of hysterical. Like, I don't know who came first, Pepper or me. But, you know. Rosy Real, thank you so much for the prime sub. Welcome to the Cut of Your Bedroom. It's interesting. Can we get some hype in the chat? While I stretch it out. Could it be amazing bread. It could be. I know, I, I will be picking It's Bread, don't worry, I have to. And there's also the me going like this and then Pepper going like that, like, I don't know, it's it's iconic, it's crazy. I gotta start, I gotta start clipping all these. It's, it's bread. Tataru, it's bread. I 
Christmas surprise. <laughs> but not just any old bread. This year's old world bread, Arkan loaf. To be Arkan loaf to be precise. It's what they eat over in Charlie. And oh, wow! What's different about it? Simple fare, I admit, but I thought it would remind our friends of home. No, it's a very sweet gesture, Tataru. It's just, it caught me off guard. I was like, cake? Nothing else. Kyle tells me it's a good source of ether. Wow! Fiber! So it should lend them a bit of strength, at least. Now we'll know that their bowels are in good hands. Mmm! Mmm! There truly is nothing like the smell of bread fresh from the oven. True, actually. Kyle! And if it isn't Rambrose, too. Hey, yo! Rambrose! Wah! My microphone. I trust you require no introductions either, Pepper. Yes, I don't. Sorry, let me pause this because I don't want the sound of me adjusting my mic to harass my chat. Are we good? Greetings, my friend. Well, glad am I to see you well. My mic is a little bit crooked now, but I think we're okay. I confess, I have a mom long, mom long list of questions to ask you, but I will endeavor to contain my curiosity for the present. I understand our mutual friend is struggling with the application of certain elegant technologies. Oh, that's who she got! Why did I think it'd be Gaius? I'm getting too uh, adventurous here with my theories. I have been keeping Rambrose apprised of events in the first. Suffice it to say, he knows about the Exarch. I'm really glad that I like reread that word because I thought it said he knows about the French. That's a shame. If anyone alive can provide insight into this matter, it is him and his fellow sons. You mean his bros? Ahem. <clears throat> loathe, loathe as I am to disappoint you after so glowing an endorsement. Memory transference was the sole province of Algon royalty. Its mechanisms closely guarded secrets. If any record of them remains, we have yet to find it. To wit, I regret that I can offer no solution to our problem. Which begs the question of why I bothered to come here, empty-handed as I am. The answer being, rather brazenly, to ask a favor. I would have you relay a message to our comrade. Oh? Tell him... Tell him that we never doubted him. Never doubted that he would achieve all that he said he would. Those of us who remain behind have yet to play our part. But when the time comes, he may rest easy in the knowledge that we will most assuredly do. Rest easy? Is he going to die? Then the tower shall shine once more as a beacon of hope <laughs> inside of me. In this world and beyond, I'm sorry. I can't think of the crystal tower without thinking of a shiny, glowing, blue pee-pee emanating from my belly. Not my belly, like Pepper's be Not Pepper's a, be a belly. <laughs> so tell him that he consider his duty done and that he should follow his heart now, okay? Forgive me, but do you say this to discourage him from overexerting himself or to encourage him to hold nothing back? I said nothing? I said nothing. Don't harm me! Don't harm me! That's for our friends to decide, but either way, I dare say a certain someone will be unimpressed. Well, there you have it, Pepper. If you'd be so good as to see Rambrose's message and Tataru's bread to their intended recipi recipients, along with my report, of course. Yeah, I got you, babes. Don't worry. Um, Cryo, before I wrap the bread up, would you mind giving it a try? Just to make sure everything is as it should be. It's poisoned. Or it's nasty. But of course, I'm always happy to lend my taste buds. Hmm. Hmm. Excuse me, Rambrose. As a fellow Charlian, may I trouble you for your opinion? Well, I usually have mine with a good dollop of ro rollin' berry jam, but I suppose plain is best for sampling purposes. Is it yummy? Did you do good? I 
see, I see. Oh no, is it that bad? It is indeed, Ataru. Dense and unpleasant, exactly as it should be. Oh, <laughs> just so, the very taste of home. Amazing. As you might expect, our countrymen have amassed a wealth of culinary wisdom from every corner of the world, but our native cuisine is, shall we say, a little lacking. It's giving Europe? It's giving white? Oh my god, they made white bread. They made... They made a wonder bread. <laughs> they literally just made... English white bread. Iconic. This is some bruv shit. In Charlene, the majority of the majority of regard food as a source of nourishment rather than enjoyment. Save for those few who actually research the culinary arts, we pay little heed to the niceties of text and ta of taster and text. Ta of taste and texture. It was again such a gastronomic landscape that what is now called the Archon Loaf was born. The creation of an Archon who devoted himself to the study of bodily sustenance. In order to maximize his nutritional value. Why am I learning about bread? He incorporated copious quantities of pulverized fish and vegetable matters into dough. All with nary a care for those qualities which make bread enjoyable. The result is a flavor that continues to defy description. Yet for its many shortcomings, the loaf's nutritional value can cannot be denied. And being a damnably convenient way to cater to one's bodily needs, it's quickly found an audience amongst busy scholars. Why, even when I was a lad... Oh. When I was a lad, nigh every meal was a sandwich made with this very bread and whatever. Ingredients happened to be on hand. Whoa, I wish there was a fucking comma there. Mm-hmm. I suspect just about every Archon could say the same. Having been away from home for so long, I thought I might have forgotten the taste. But no, it is all too familiar. <sighs> How it takes me back. If there is enough, perhaps you can spare some for the Exarch? He is certain to appreciate it. Oh, there's plenty to go around. I'll be sure to wrap up an extra slice. Pepper, when you deliver the loaf, please be sure to send everyone my regards. Tell them we're doing tell them we're doing everything we can and that we'll be praying for their safe return until the moment they get back. Didn't he use like a fillet salmon to open a letter before? What are you gonna do with a slice of bread? I'm gonna take Grahatia to McDonald's. Gonna get him some chicken nuggies and a cheeseburger gonna get him a nice soda. Where am I going now? Okay, so I am just returning. Okay. I think he'd like McDonald's. I think he seems like a Happy Meal kind of guy. And you know what? Same. Oh, a salmon fillet. No, <laughs> fillet <laughs> salmon. <laughs> you know what? I like my version better. Yeah, I feel like he would want a Happy Meal with a toy. And, um, these look like butt plugs. Do they not? Like, I'm like running past here and it just kind of looks like a butt plug. You know? That goes inside and then that's like the pretty piece that's like on the outside that looks all cute. Like those little crystal butt plugs. So this like furthers my theory of his um crystal tower, so maybe this is all just a metaphor. I don't know. Interesting. Much to think about. Much to discuss. Much to also write about later in my fanfic. <laughs> Hi puppy! Welcome back, my friend. How was your journey? I got you some bread! By the 12th, Archon Loaf. However, did you come by this? I swear it had come straight from Charlian. I scared I could up on a rabbit, sir. Rambro said that, did he? His words are very nearly as heavy as the bread, <laughs> but I appreciate the sentiment. Did you have the chance? You may tell him that he needn't worry. That which I seek to do, I do of my own volition, and with all my heart. In pursuing this path, I fully expect to earn the censure- censure? The censure of our friends, and to deserve it, but I shall forge on regardless. 
Before John, as you yourself did when faced with similar predicament, with a similar predicament. So I ask that you have faith in me and what we do. We were talking about your journey. Before the others arrive, I would hear how their bodies fare. Oh, and the bread I shall save for later. Though it has been many years, I've not forgotten the feats of mastication prior to consume it, nor how to unconducive they are to, con to conversation. Cutscene? Voiced cutscene, mayhap? I'll turn it on regardless, just in case. Then Chrissy can walk! Oh, we still left you stole on Forgive the delay. didn't we? We have visited every region and confirmed the presence of Asians throughout the realm. Oh, fuck. Lest a grave predicament be made to seem hopeless, it should be noted that they are of inferior rank. The black masked minions who answer to the red. Yes. A gaggle of schemers attempting to exploit recent events to sow the seeds of petty conflict. Fortunately, Nothing of any great concern has come of their meddling just yet. We also encountered a number of the Crystarium's former defenders, busily solving this problem and that in a bid to become warriors of light. Mm. Their zeal is to be applauded. It is but a pity I cannot encourage them on their course. Not knowing Elizabeth set them upon it, no. Both the troubles to be solved and the villains to be vanquished are his doing too, like as not. And so, with apologies to the aspiring warriors of light, I believe it best that we deal with the Asians quickly and quietly. I quite agree. But tell us, what news from the source? How fare our bodies? Uh, I don't really have the best news for you, buddy. Uh, well enough, though time is not on our side. No, I'm gonna be honest. I'm sorry, but things have taken a turn for the worse. Oh dear. Then we must redouble our efforts. Not that we've ever stinted in that regard. This would seem an appropriate moment to ask about the spirit vessel. Tell me you've made some progress. Mm. We have, as it happens. One moment. Okay. A go at the moment. Hurry up, please. Anyone got a tissue for Becklug? They need it. Oh shit. Oh, there's his blood. Oh, it's crystallized. Oh, is the that what he's all- stones. Then this doth mean- uh. For the benefit of all, permit us to explain. As you will recall, using white aura sight as our starting point, we fashioned a vessel for mind and memory both. Yet, Though it served this purpose admirably, the process of imbuing it with one's complete essence proved a somewhat thornier proposition. Simply put, the memory would not accompany the mind. Mm, and so right. we looked to the Allegan's mastery of memory transference for a solution. This approach was not without its own complications, however, relying as it does upon blood, which inanimate objects notably do not possess. We duly explored methods of suffusing the vessel with drops of the aforementioned. Alas, our painstaking experimentation succeeded only in making me feel faint, and singularly failed to imbue the crystal with the necessary properties. Hmm. It was then that an idea occurred to me, namely that we might fuse the vessel not with normal blood, but with my crystallized essence. You're doing this for our sakes. So far be it from us to complain. But don't think we haven't noticed what's happening to your arm. It falls well short of offering up my life in exchange for yours, which was your only stipulated prohibition, as I recall. 
and it is but a small price to pay for delivering you home. Assuming it works. We shall soon know if this grisly addition will serve as a suitable conduit for the subject's memory. Though not soon enough to warrant your waiting, the test is like to take a while. Let us be off then. We have Asians to attend to, among other things. Forgive me, but I count six vessels, and there are only five of us. Does he mean One is for testing purposes. Mm. I will personally use it to see whether the crystal functions as it should. And if it does, wouldn't that mean that your soul could also return to the source? Yes. In theory, at least. But there is a distinct difference between your circumstances and mine. While your corporeal forms want for souls, my past self does not. Mayhap our essences would blend, or mayhap they would curdle. There is no telling what might occur. And you'd be willing to take that risk? I would. I see. Girl, I'd storm out too if the game would let me. Look at him so grumpily. It's like, sorry for them not saying goodbye, but I'll say goodbye. Thanks. See ya. Be right back. You know... You know the old saying, friends. If I like a character, they're gonna die. I... Well... I caught myself simping, and now, and now, old scratch. Thank you for the four month resub. I appreciate it, or three month resub. So you did like Emmett? Is that why he died? <laughs> Hast thou a moment, Pepper? I would speak with thee on the matter of the extract's mooted return unto the source. Thou wilt have observed that our friend spake not in certainties. Yet if Beckluck hath the right of it, it is possible to predict the outcome of his plan with some confidence. And it is their assessment that, given the opportunity, the Exarch's soul should successfully merge with that of his younger self. This is not to say the process is without complications. For one, the Exarch hath been subjected to an additional rejoining, an experience which will have wrought a change in his ethereal composition. As thou thyself didst demonstrate, in merging with Ardbert, however, there- Ah, there existeth- There existeth an affinity twixt like souls. And this doth give us cause to hope. But there remaineth one immutable condition upon which success doth hinge. I was about to say, yeah, the extract must needs recognize his past self is simply that, himself. As our recent travails have demonstrated, memories are essential of soul. Any discrepancy in the former may feasibly cause the latter to spur in its former flesh. It is a seemingly simple yet complex problem. For nigh on a century, our friend hath striven only to drive this to deliver this realm, to deliver thee. And to that singular end did he cast aside his very name, and that he might assume the mantle of the Crystal Exarch. Henceforth, henceforth, none can say what choices our friend will make, but I thought it only right that thou be made aware of these truths. Oh, the sky is so pretty! Pinky purple. <sighs> Hi, Rat. Hey, Tony. The simp of doom, exactly. The simp of doom. All right, chat. How are we feeling? Are we feeling good? Are we feeling okay? Are you ready to keep going? Are we good to continue on, duh?
Elise is tired? Tired? You? Unheard of. I'm scared, me too. This is a good jumping off point. But I don't wanna stop. I'm all right, Pars, how are you? Should we do one more, should we do one more, one more quest? What if we stopped on a, on a big cliffhanger? Do the rest of the patch, bro. Nah. Faded memories. Thanker's eager to get to work. Right then. Oh, the extract literally pours his own sweat and blood into his allotted task. It seems only fair that we attend to our own. I'm so nervous. Dealing with Elder Bussy and his mi and his minions. Just so. And there's one other matter. What's that? In light of our deteriorating health, each solo should not be left alone. Yeah! Get a nighter. Might I trouble you to visit? Oh, I will go see mommy. Don't you worry. I'd go myself, but I think she might be safe in the hands of one less prone to collapsing. Leave it to me, bestie. I'll go get mommy. My thanks. You may leave the Asians to us. Once they're out of the way, we will return. We will retire to Yulemore. When we still has finished plumbing the depths, I'd like the two of you to join us there. Sounds good, Dad. If you're bound to a nighter, I suggest you go via Venmont Yards. Our friends there will be glad to provide a boat for you. I could just TP. No, I can't. Let's be on our way then. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Okay, bestie. Wait, I have a gift from you. Oh! I have a delivery from the source, Koopo! Fuck it, we go in Moogle mode. <laughs> Not the Koopos! Koopo! You're a long way from home, Moogle. And this is from Tataru, is it? Whatever could it be? <laughs> Archon Loaf, thou sayest. Why, even to hear the name doth transport me to times long past. Bread from another world. May I try some? Mayest thou, child? Thou must! That said, though I personally disagree with the consensus, I do nonetheless advise thee to temper thine expectations. Wiser words have never been uttered. <laughs> from Urian <Uriange> J <-Jay> too? <laughs> Though it rarely darkened our dining table at home, I can attest that it was standard fare at the studio. Indeed, a slice was never far from our peer's hands. Alfino, you, know, you really are an unbearable snob sometimes. Do you know that? I think he's a little self-aware, bestie. What I believe my colleagues are trying to say is that we appreciate the gesture. Tell Tataru we'll do our best to return before she's forced to seek further supplementary employment. <laughs> right, let's be off now. We can find a drink to wash down the bread on the way. Da -na -na -na. <laughs> go! Go, child, go! <laughs> Alright. Where am I headed? Over here? Yeah. Look, if, if Ishtola needs me to help her with her plumbing, I will. If, if Ishtola needs me to clean her feet, I will. Does she need a pedicure? I got her. Does she need her hair brushed? Say less. Is she hungry? I'll go make some stew. I am a simp. Through and through. Kill fast, eat ass. Wise words. Ow. Amen, Jay. Amen. How you doing, Jay? What's up? What are you up to on this beautiful night? Oh, 
I want your opinion on something? What? <laughs> hey, Sora! Later? What do you mean, later? You can't come in here, ask me for my opinion, and then say, nah, never mind. What a tease! It's like three inches huge? It depends. For a mouse? Yes! For me? I'll pull out the magnifying glass. Three inches is a great personality though? True. Can't say the same about ten- Are you fucking- Are you fucking kidding me? I went all the way up here?! <laughs> Ugh. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. <laughs> wow. Hi, friends. Hey. Y'all doing okay? Everyone's- Everyone's having a good time? Yeah? We're all good? Great. Good to know. Alright. Alright, I'll ship right. Oh, if it ain't the warrior of darkness herself. Woo! I got a kiss! Who brings you these parts? Well, apart from my coven, um, I gotta go see mommy. I gotta help, um, unclog mother's depths. <laughs> Heading out to sea, eh? But of course, we'd be happy to help. Just say the word and I'll be ready, already a boat. Yes. Take me to mother. Ten inches is a dick and will cheat? Ten inches is terrifying. If your dick is that big, get it away from me. Okay, try. Here we go. No! 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 Stay away! Stay away from mommy! Excellent. I dropped my, 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 my... I had intended to speak with you alone. None of my doing, lest you misunderstand. Thank God, at least. The link between her body and soul wavers. Hey, Waldo. I know not what you hoped to find here, but it will avail you naught to learn of our past. with the flashbangs. Reviewing the records yet again? Really? You worry too much, Eldabus. Eldab- Elidabus? I can't, like, I'm not even trying to say Elder Bussy anymore. It's just, like, in me now to say Elder Bussy. <laughs> like, it's just Elder Bus. Elder baby! Why's a Maguzu? Why's a Maguzu, baby boy? Why's a Magoo? Call him chat. There's a baby here. Should I give him um, a, a, a goldfish cracker?
give me one more. Oh, don't worry. Um, I'm I'm just whispering to him. I'm just saying, "Wait, your boy, boy, you're my baby." Don't worry. Don't worry, it's okay. I love my dog so much. He seems vicious. Oh, he's terrifying. Oh, he's terrifying. Aren't you? Aren't you so scary? Aren't you a big scary baby? Look at him. Look at my baby. Why do everyone love you, mama? Everyone loves you, my baby. Not done? Yeah? He looks like a pillow. He is a pillow. When he's tired enough, he lets me sleep with him. Oh, bless you! And it's a it's a good experience. I just like Oh big stretchums. Oh I love him. Alright. My allergies can never yeah, he's a lot. You get used to it though. They're hypoallergenic. Um but like they he pulls in a ton of dust so if you're allergic to dog fur you're chilling but if you're sensitive to dust you're not and i'm sensitive to dust so he kills me he's so worth it he's literally been such a camera hog today <laughs> reviewing the records yet again really you worry too much elitibus <laughs> This dedication to your duty verges on obsession. To thank some thought you ill suited for the role. How wrong they were. Come, turn your gaze outside the window, my friend. The rains have ceased, and we have been graced with another beautiful day. It fades. Fades away into oblivion. Does the world no longer have need of me? No. I am Elidipus, and I must... I will fulfill my duty. Sundered though you may be, you fought for the world's salvation. For hope. Hope. Ah, oh, it swells within me empowers me now now i may carry out my mission and yet why do i yearn for this why do i struggle so well that flashbang wasn't that bright my god I shall take her into my safekeeping. If you want her back, you will do as I ask. 
Bro. Show me your strength. I would take your measure. I have prepared a suitable arena. You need but ride the flow of ether. So he just wants me to dive straight into the void Ussie? Bro. Alright. Look, there's a part of me that wants this to be a cliffhanger. But I want to go into the void Ussie so bad! Oh my god, chat. Oh my god. No! We're going into the Elder Bussy. I'm out. I'm out. Fulfill your destiny. Enter the Elder Bussy. The Elder Bussy, Waldo. You hear that? You hear that, Musica? Can y'all see him? Chat. Do we do it? Do I go on? I don't want to stop. I do not want to stop. I can't. I can't. I can't stop. Waldo, we're going into the bussy. <laughs> He's not happy. He did not like that. All right. Okay. 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 It's bussy time. Okay. Let's have a moment of zen. A moment of peace. Close your eyes. Okay, bussy time. Oh, I'm so sorry. I scared Waldo. I'm sorry, baby. Come back. Here, I give you a treat. I'm sorry, here you go. There you go. Oh! Accidentally flung it in the air. Alright! Smile chat! It's bussy time. Alright. Duty calls! Commence for battle? Let me just eat some food real quick. It's time! It's bussy time! Let's go! Let's go! Okay, I'm ready. Oh hey, it's the McDonald's lineup again. Brought me into Amarot. So am I gonna fight Elder Bussy? You are familiar with this place, I believe. This. Remembered Amarot. Proceed to the capital. I shall turn your comrade to you there. I'm tired of your games. You speak as if you were disappointed in me. Why? I am your enemy, and you mine. Our goals are in conflict, and we are fated to clash. Or had you hoped that feigned sympathy and false understanding would cast your crime in a less reprehensible light? They would come to look upon you as a friend. You who have slaughtered my people, who would tear down everything we have built. Do not deny it, then. Very well. Let us change the cast of this trial. 
He will know what you have stolen from us. Oh no, is he gonna make it all real? Is he gonna- or is he gonna make them aggro? Is he gonna alter the, the memories? Oh my god, yeah. Oh wait. Wait! From the Twin Adders! And- not Twin Adders, but from- Wait! From- from all the inns! <laughs> Do not imagine I crave remorse. Only justice. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I made a regret. I have so many regrets. I have so many regrets. I... Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay. I'm... S I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared, chat. Enter- oh wait, I'm right here. Forward hero, we shall see how strong you have become. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Let us begin. Okay, we got some gabagools here. Rest assured, there are no tricks you need but defeat the enemies before you. But who are the enemies? Who are they going to be? First, nothing easy. Those whom a budding hero might encounter at the beginning of her tale. And I believe I have the perfect subjects. Oh no. I don't know who you're turning them into. Oh my god! Oh! Ida and Papa Limo! No! This is so cruel! This is so cruel! Oh, they're so easy though. Wait. Does that mean... No. Chat, no. 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 I see, but at least now you understand the rules. Thus will we make our way to the capital. Yeah, that was important. No, I'm not gonna egg him on. That was in poor taste, even for you. That, appearance, that appearances should unsettle you so? I was under the impression you simply destroyed all who barred your way. Sparing nary a thought to the possibility that your foe could be someone's beloved. But come, we shouldn't dwell on the beginnings when so much of your story awaits. Oh my god. <laughs> Now what? Now what? Moon Burrito? Now that's mean! Do I have to kill them too? Nope, they're just chilling. They're just vibing. Uh, follow Elidibus. Oh, it's Sid! And Maggie! And Biggs and Wedge! Okay, so here are the enemies. Oh, I see how he's doing it now. So he's doing it so like the the gabagools are the enemies and all of the um Asians I, I guess are gonna be just the NPCs chilling. Okay. All right, who's next? Well done, champion of Arzia. Well done. Honor them over the bloodied bodies of the fallen. Okay, so we just went through a realm reborn. Now what? What am I looking at? What am I looking at here? Oh! Wait, what did he say? You tasted many sweet triumphs, yes, but you- but so too did you taste bitter tragedy. Who could forget the Crystal Braves, an idealistic, pathetic dream? Born from a malformed creature. Oh, you fuck. I, for I almost for 
forgot about Ilbert, honestly. If it weren't for my friends playing A Realm Reborn for the first time, I would have completely forgotten about him. Oh, God damn it. It was such ease yet again. He did always grow stronger with every battle. Look, I have to put on my glasses so I can actually see what I'm looking at, but I don't want to see what I'm looking at! Chad, I don't want to know what I'm looking at! I don't want to go any further! I don't think I can go any further! I don't want to go any further! I can't do it! Okay. Okay. I can't do it! I can't do it! I can't do it, chat! I can't do it! I can't! It seems it'll only take more than- It seems it'll take more than those monsters to leave an impression upon you. Or perhaps you simply fail to understand my meaning. Not that it matters. No, I have dealt with countless heroes. And always it ends the same way. No amount of reasoning will bridge your differences. It will result in happiness for all. Whatever your reasons may be, I cannot be bound by them. I can but put faith in my own beliefs and fight for them with all my being. You're wrong. We could always strive for understanding, for compromise. There's just nothing for it, but for us to fight. No, you're fucking wrong, bro. Hmm, how very naive. If you're willing to compromise compromise on your beliefs, you all but admit that they are flawed. And I assure you, I have no intention of compromising on mine. Come what may, I will fulfill my mission as Elder Bussy. As a little bus. I <sighs> but enough talk. It is not your assertions that I wish to know, but your strength. Had you and the scion- okay, I can't read. Had you and your scions- wait, no, let me start this over. Falsely accused of regicide, you fled for the- oh right, you fled for the snow set fields of Curthus. Had you and the scions met your demise that day in the Sultanate, Lahabrea might have spared his. Might have been spared his. But not only did you stubbornly live, haha, you hurled yourself into the thick of the Dragon Song War. I did. I did. I did, yeah, and he had to con he had to he, he had to <laughs> he had to convince his dad to, to 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 let us in. Yeah, I know, I remember. <laughs> oh, is this thing timed? Oh, it is. Unending conflict. What? Just as you were bid. Oh, or was it your thirst for vengeance that drove you? It was! I will fuck him up again! I will fuck Zephyrin up again! <laughs> Don't you fucking worry! Where are you? Don't stay in the back, you little bitch! I will solo you first and then take down the rest. Yeah, bye! Oh! Oh! Wait, why can't I do any damage to him? Oh, I gotta kill him first. Okay, there we go. No. <sighs> Eat my ass. Eat my ass. <laughs> I trust you're beginning to limber up. Do keep up the fight for him. Now what?
What's next? I see, I see my, I see my other boys. Around here, those people are wont to flock. People who harbor all manner of motives, each baser than the last. You want me to fight them? Let the curtains rise on the grand melee. Oh! Oh, I forgot about that. And I had to like fight Roban, right? Oh my god, chill. Oh. No more than they deserve. And their, their hand of friendship was tainted with personal desire. Well, now what? Oh, oh! No, that's mean! Uh, that's fucking mean, bro! Naughty sale! Wait, where am I going? I don't- oh, I have to go past. Oh, I'm going up. Oh, there he is. Bro, that's mean. That's mean. This is so mean! This is so mean! This is so mean! This is so traumatizing! <laughs> You know what comes next? You put an end to the dragon song war. Uh huh. I did. Is it Nidhog? What am I? Who am I? Yeah, sick. Let's go. There's no saving your comrade this time. All you can do is cut off the serpent's head. Well, sorry, Astinian. Oh, is 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 he gonna turn into him when he dies? Like when I? Oh. That that'd be sad. That'd be dark. That'd be dark. Damn. Chill. Oh my god. Relax. Oh my god. Relax, bro. Good god. Huh? Or is he just gonna perish? Huh? Oh. He gone. Oh. Okay, that's it. And as simple as that, a thousand year war is brought to its conclusion. But every end marks a new beginning, and for heroes such as you, there's only ever conflict. Okay, so now are we gonna go through Stormblood? I have no- I feel nothing towards that. <laughs> that, um. <coughs> that, um, X-Pack. So, you know what, bro? This is gonna be easy. Don't worry. I'll take Lise down. I've been waiting for this moment. Gimme her. <laughs> Please. How are you enjoying the walk down memory lane? It's not that fun! I don't- I- I am not enjoying it! I dare say there will have been a few individuals for whom you harbor deep feelings, whose passing caused you keenest grief. That is what our people are to us, an irreplaceable existence that can ill be lost. I must. I will save them. For they are my- my- no? Wait for him to continue. Bruh. Never mind. We are not here to talk. Let us turn- return to the task at hand. Emperor Solus had kindled an insatiable flame. Arnold was the same, and it raged across the land. I can't fight her. Following the trail of ash, set forth. You set forth for Alamigo and Doma into a storm of blood. I can't fight her. No, this is so rude. Again, you fought, and again you grew stronger. I'm so strong that we can no longer control you. This music did bang, though. I will say. Here's the natural beastly strength. And we shall lay it bare. Alright, what's going on here? Who am I fucking up? In order to gain a foothold in the liberation effort, you joined. You journeyed to far eastern plains. Oh, it's my guy. Oh, it's them. What up, Sadu? The sun cannot be extinguished. They had the last fierce wars and sought to win them over to your cause. I did. The strong are drawn to the strong. Thus did you got thus did you gather new allies to your banner. I keep going! Yet where ardent souls gather, so too do fires burn. In this way, did you consign those running frames? Oh you Geary! Oh, you Geary and Hien? Oh, they made the entire X-Pack worth it. Yugiri and Hien- Oi! Oh, oh, 
Yes, hello. Oh my la- Oh, oh, and I'm bound. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm stuck. No, I'm not. Not again. You did not hesitate, or perhaps come not. No matter. Let's turn our attention to the finale. The finale. The finale. Here yeah, we shall have a test between fellow beasts. There's only fitting, would you not agree? Ashley Tisdale! <laughs> when I fought you in this flesh, was I who triumphed. We turn the tables this time. Alright, Ashley Tisdale. Wait, what do I do here? I don't remember. I think this was the, the fight in like the um... I don't, I don't remember. This was the fight when... When we arrested Fordola and then Fordola had to come in and like save everybody, right? I think. Is this stronger? Yeah, oh. oh my lord, my brother in Christ. Chill. Owie zowie. Is that all? I'm asking you the same thing. My creation appears to have lost its form. It's no easy thing to see through the eyes of a beast such as him. In any event, there is only so much to be learned by taking your measure this way. Let us try something different. Come, we continue this within. That was fucking mean. That was fucking mean. Get his ass. Get his ass, Pepper! An impressive show of strength. But surely, no more than a forestate of what- of that which Emmett Selk's conqueror is capable. Such might- such might requires a fairer measure, to compare like with like. Yes. Am I gonna have to fight myself? Ray 2.0? I shall just have to test you myself. Or am I just gonna fight him as for who he is? Like, yeah? Fighting Ardbert? <laughs> come on, Pepper. Oh, come on, Pepper. Show me what you can do. Oh, man. Oh, man. I got you. I know it's not you, bestie. Alright. I got this, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Come on! Thank you. Hello? Game? Game? I may not be the real Arthur, but you do well not to underestimate me. I guess. All that made him the warrior he was, every battle wage, every blow swan is part of my being, so come, let me like you mean to take my head. Breath. Oh, my bad. Fuck my bad. Murderous intent! My murderous intent! Oh shit, I fucked up my combo again. Uh, you'd kill me given the chance. We have to think to recover this body. So, prove that it's no use to me. Prove that I can't best you with it. Oh, oh my god. Come, come at me with everything you've got. I am doing the best that I can here, my guy. What the fuck is this? I'll run you to pieces. Is this spinning thing? Oh, oh, I see, oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Am I gonna 
not just that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm fine here for now. Oh, this- okay, I was just spamming that for nothing. This is- is he- he's like- it feels like he's barely fighting back. This isn't that bad. But I'm scared! It's too good to be true! It's it's way too good to be true! Unless this is like some way of the game being like, see this is how strong you are, but like, it shouldn't? I, I don't know. Can you withstand this? I don't know, can I? Ten minutes? TEN MINUTES LEFT! I'm sorry, I was busy crying! Very well, I'll transcend my limits and we'll see what you're truly capable of. Bro, bro, if I can't finish this, if I'm unable to finish this, it's gonna be like the last second. Hold nothing back, for neither will I. You know what? This fight becomes a lot easier when I feel like I'm fighting um, Mr. Charlemagne. have my answer. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. We did it. You have grown stronger since last we fought. The result of your trials in the first, no doubt. Have you finished? <gasps> Mommy! My apologies. I freed myself as soon as I awoke, but rather too late, I see. Now, Elidibus. If you have ceased trading blows, I would trade words with you. Yeah, listen to my mommy. I have a theory. Mommy you to see, the rescue. One concerning that which you seek to accomplish. It stems from who, or rather what, you truly are a primal. The Ancients created Zodiac to deliver the star from destruction. If the magic that brought him forth is the precursor of what we know as summoning, then Zodiac would have been instilled with a presiding desire. I found it among the records at Anida, and okay. it came as no surprise. Were I faced with the world's destruction, I too would wish for the same. Salvation. I know that you sacrificed yourself to become Zodiac's heart. How you came to be separated from him is less clear. But if you are a fragment of his being, it stands to reason a desire for the world's salvation would drive you. And thus did you seek to inspire the masses to rise up as warriors of light, going so far as to use Ardbert as a symbol of hope.
correct on all counts. Such is my nature, and such are my methods. I have aided heroes. I have made them. I have even become them. This served not only to strengthen me, but also to facilitate the work of my brothers. Such as Emmet Selk, with his penchant for nation building. Then you will be all too familiar with the fickleness of mankind. We change, we forget, and what little we do remember becomes twisted and fragmented over time. For which reason? You deem us unfit to carry on your legacy. But are you, yourself, free of these foibles? As the last witness of the final days, do you remember everything that was lost? Or even the things you cared about? Get to the point. Got him there. A primal is shaped by the hope that fuels it. Even should this hope be something as simple as the world's salvation, it is the collective desire of innumerable disparate souls crying out for deliverance. Having drawn your strength from such a cacophony of voices, can you truly be sure you still speak with your own? Your question is irrelevant. Can you please change your body? No matter how much I should change, no matter how much so, I should forget, like... I shall ever remember my duty. At times, I stand with my brethren. At times, I stand against them. All that I might steer mankind and the very star upon their true course. Oh my god, we heard it before, Elder Bussy! For Elidibus is my name and my mission, guiding my every deed. But enough talk. You have shown me sufficient proof of your might. Are you floating? As I am now, I would struggle to defeat you. Yet I have still to play all of my cards. If I could offer you some semblance of sport, your lessers would pose no threat to me. Would you not agree, warrior of darkness? So, uh, wait, 41? Why is it 41? I thought it was 40. Oh, I guess it is 41. I did cry twice. I cried at the thought. <laughs> I cried at the thought of killing Orshifa, and then I cried when I saw him. Yeah. Yeah. That was the first time in, like, eight months that I've seen his sprite in my game. And that feels really weird to say. I'll sub if you keep going. Bro. 
What a great incentive. Thank you. Ugh. Hmm, what's gonna happen if I turn around? My pals! Hi, Beans. Hi, Beans! <laughs> Carnage, thank you for gifting a community sub. I appreciate it. Man. So remember when I said I'd be pissed if they kept making me remember uh, Heaven's Ward? Well, they made me go through it all over again! Not even just like... Not even just, um... Just, oh yeah, a little nod to him. It's like, no, 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 no. Let's completely recount Heaven's Ward. Let's completely go through it. Uh, who's that at the shield? It's a Madeline. Manolene's got the shield. Soft boy. So do we have umbrellas because um you're catching my tears on the tops of the umbrellas? Is that is that what this means? To protect yourself from my ever flowing tears? <laughs> I'm not crying, you are? I am! And I know you are too, you little bitch. Fuck. It has been an eventful morning. A morning? If it indeed if indeed it is morning. I have no idea how long I was unconscious. Regardless, I'm gratified to see that my efforts at Anator have borne fruit. We have confirmed the nature of our foe and his plot. Now then, what is from the surface? I see. Let us make a make for Yulmore at once. We have much to share with our comrades. Litibus, Litibus is partings, parting threat, not least at all. Least of all. Whoa. Nano, thank you for the gifted sub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Ah, but forgive me. It would seem my belongings did not accompany me here. I'll need to retrieve them from editor. Wait, did y'all do a poll? What was the fucking poll? What did I miss? <laughs> what did I miss in chat? I was too busy sobbing. I can't even scroll up that far. So I just leave the poll because he was gonna lose? Wow, what a coward! And Ojo, thank you for the sub. With luck, the three-year-old stream you traverse still lingers. It won't be long. Yeah! Me fucking too, Pepper! Literally same. You leave a mask? Oh. Etched in the stars, a peculiar crystal lies on the capital's polished floor. Healer crystal lies on the floor. Upon its surface, an array of lights twinkle like a tiny constellation of stars. Day fourth. Bring honor to the seat of... The sort of voice of an ancient rings out in your mind. A moment preserved in the crystal, it would seem. Do I have to collect all the crystals now to put it together? Huh. You notice something else glinting up ahead. What do you mean, quest accepted? Hold this then. Oh! Ehee! <laughs> That's really cute. Two more? Three more. We 
You find three more crystals lying on the floor. Though they differ in color and decoration, each is identical in shape. You focus on the crystals and find that the words they hold ring clearer than before. Behold, my friends. Embraced by the earth and caressed by the wind, vibrant life flourishes. All is right in creation. There can be no greater joy than to use our wisdom for the good of our people. No greater pride. May all know happiness, now and forevermore. Are these related to the Asians then? Like a soul crystal? Do I see any more? There do not appear to be any more crystals in the hall. Perhaps it would be wise to continue the search outside. Oh, really? I thought I was going to be going to Yulmore. And they're so conveniently clumped together, too. Are these left from... From the the ancient ones that he like transformed into characters, like is, are these like what they've dropped? How many are here? Two. Hey, a purple one. They're so tiny. Your instincts serve you true, and you discover another two crystals. As you reach out with your consciousness, consciousness, new voices begin to echo in your mind. Yes. The heavens are ablaze and the land rent asunder. What will become of the world? Is life itself to be denied? Come what may, we must not surrender to despair. If we but hold fast to hope, we may yet find a path to salvation. Voice is still an incomplete tale. Might more remain to be found? Oh my god, they got me looped into a fucking puzzle now! Okay. I mean, I'm okay with that. I do like puzzles. But I mean, this is like a laser pointer to Pepper, literally. <laughs> you see, discover two more crystals. Rather too soon, in fact, as if someone wanted you to find them. <laughs> Everything burns, tumbles, decays. I hear the lamentations of my brethren. Soon there will be only silence. We will deliver our star from its doom, this we swear. So please, dry your tears. Is this like the convocation? Like what? Whatever awaits the end of your stretch, it's plain you have yet to find it. Going? Search for yet more crystals. All right. Let's see. Over here. Is this one pink? I think I see three here. Oh, what is happening? Oh, okay. Never mind then. Fair enough. Your persistence is swiftly awarded. This time with three crystals. The time has come. We shall rewrite the laws of creation, and we shall save our star. From this life, our savior born, may I be worthy of the honor. I feel my soul turning, slowly but irrevocably. The power I wield begins to seem terrible. That's right. That's right. The tale, the crystals we've seen, the near its end, but isn't over yet. What's your sign? Um, like in real life or in game? Because in game, I think I picked uh, Halone. Um, is that what these are? Like, do those... Do the, um... Constellations reflect uh, the gods from the beginning? Like the 12 gods or however many there are? Oh, IRL? Oh. No? Oh, I'm a Gemini. With 
almost melancholy in inevitability, the twelfth crystal soon reveals herself to your questing eye. Though salvation is ours, it came at great sacrifice. All that remains is to pray. Pray that we will one day meet again beneath the blue sky. He sounds like the this sounds like the last words that they spoke, you know? Judging by his testimony, it would seem the voice record in the wake of the final days. Yeah. Well, Yeah. Very, uh, grim. As you scan the area, another glint catches your eye. Yes, the one that my friends are so, um, kindly surrounding, right? These men right here. Hithlodeus? Is that you? Is that you, bestie? Hithlodeus? What's up? That's not a bad person. How oh, good of you to remember. Is that yours? I see you've been collecting stars. I speak of those crystals. They have constellations etched upon them, yes? So my first guess was right. High in the heavens, those stars shine their guiding light down upon the lives below. Fitting symbols for the convocation of 14, would you not? Did I collect 14? Each of these were for one of the- for the convocation, right? It's voice actor, sorry, you don't need to read it. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. As you will have gathered each crystal. I'm sorry, do y'all want me to, to skip ahead? Y'all can understand the horrors. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just not well versed. I just I haven't beaten the game yet and I've been touching grass for the last few days. Sorry, bestie. <laughs> Can we just slur on Twitch? Don't tell them. Don't tell them. <laughs> Y'all speak whale, I do not. As you have gathered, each crystal bears an account of the life of a member of the convocation as remembered by the unsundered. Okay, so I did get it right. Look at me. <laughs> Lest you worry, they are they aren't concepts. They are far too incomplete to be so. But they suffice for imbuing memories within sundered souls, that they might be restored to their office. Look, I know we got the whole blood thing going on with the Orosite, but what if this is the an What if this is the answer to bringing the Scions back home? No. Keep them. I am sure Emmett Selk wouldn't mind. I will. I- I will keep them. 
Hopefully he doesn't smite me from beyond the grave. I know he's Hades and all, but... So how fair you of late? You are feuding with Elidibus this time, I believe. Yeah. I shall refrain from passing comments on your struggle. It's not my place to do so, long departed as I am. But if I may give voice to a personal desire, I'd rather you lived. You do not. How will you keep your promise to Emmett Selk? The promise to remember? Okay, fine, 42. I get it! I get it, chat! <laughs> it must weigh heavy. The burden of all those memories. <laughs> to one who has lived a life such as yours, I can well imagine how Elidibus' existence might seem hollow, how empty his single-minded pursuit of a half-forgotten cause must appear. But know that his devotion is not without reason, even if he himself can no longer remember what that reason is. quite enough talk about Elidibus. I would see if you can reunite the wayward stars. Oh. 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 I mentioned before that there was a member of the convocation who opposed Zodiac summoning and defected. One whose office was left vacant. Defectors having been deemed unworthy of commemoration, no crystal exists for the individual in question. I'm not looking at chat, but I do see things are being deleted. I can't see what's being said. But if you need to, you can put them, uh, put chat in emote only mode if you need to, or even sub only mode. It's okay. I, I don't know what's happening in chat. I'm just, you know. Or shouldn't exist at any rate, and wouldn't had a friend not created one secret. <laughs> so fucking bright. A crystal bearing the forgotten name of her office, along with the magic of her own conceiving. A singular incantation embodying her spirit. <laughs> Among 
among all the officers, the 14th was most unusual. For while the rest sat in Amarat, its holder was charged with gaining an intimate knowledge of the wider world. In the course of her duty, she traveled the length and breadth of every land and befriended countless folk. She encountered troubles too, of course, matters which she could simply have referred to the convocation. That was not her way. Nay, more often than not, she would call upon her comrades and together resolve matters themselves. Such is the magic sealed within the crystal. That crystal. The magic to summon the stars to your side. Oh shit, fuck! No! <laughs> In time of greatest need, should you wish upon it with all your heart, it will surely answer your call. Huh. Wait, I want the purple one! Now it is where it belongs. Well, there is no need for thanks, but nor will I hear any complaints about it either. After all, I cannot say whether I act of my own volition or by the will of my recreator. Hmm. The will of your recreator? Get out of here with that. <laughs> oh. Can you even say bye? I was wondering where you'd disappear to. Hey, mommy. No! No, 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 no. Wrong thing, wrong thing. Oh my god. Jesus, fuck. Is something troubling you? No? Very well. I have everything. Let's hurry back to the surface. It sounds like whoever Hithlodeus was describing was like, it sounded like they were like describing me. Like the warrior of light. Interesting. Wondering new old friend oh like that's it like, I, like, rem I remind them of the 14th so i guess that's the connection ah fresh air at long last i celebrate my return to dry land with a pot of tea had we had the luxury of time we must be prepared for Elidibus. given what we know it is plain he would not be deterred from his course and nor would i were i him not if it meant for forsaking not if it meant forsaking everything i loved that said, I have not forgotten how Emmett Salk sought to find common ground with us, for all our misgivings. Ultimately, our differences were not to be bridged, of course, but one must always try. Emmett Salk understood this, and if his gesture resonated with you, perhaps you might, recons perhaps you might consider reaching out to his brethren. So it may all be for naught, you of all people know that there is no such thing as a foregone conclusion. Do I continue? What time is it? What you giving me? More weapons? Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. 
I think, yeah, I think this is where I, I'm gonna call it chat. It's 4 a.m.? Like, <laughs> I could keep going, but I have a dog to take care of. And... And I also have D&D &D tomorrow. I've got a, I've got a lot on my plate. So, the way I see it, oh, thank you for the for the archon loaf. Thank you. I will eat that too. Do I stream D and D? I don't know. Yeah. I think what the plan is gonna be is um. I, I think the plan is gonna be I stop here. I nappy, I go sleep, and then Monday night. Monday night we will reconvene. And we will blast through 5.3. I think that's a really good plan. I I I have so m I have- Oh! I have like- there's so much going on in my head. I like- I don't even know- I don't even know like where to begin and where to end. I do have to do my dailies though. Do I do my dailies? Right now? Uh... It's Mimi's time. Okay. All right, chat. I will be back Monday night. And we will burn through 5.3. If you sleep tonight, you might dream of Catboy. I always dream of Catboys. Don't worry. That was... Don't forget, chat, to follow me on social media and to join my Discord server. That way you will get pinged for when I go live next. So we'll see you all Monday night, hopefully around, let's say, like 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Eastern. Something like that. Oh, yeah, sorry, Elise. I'm at my nightlies. Um, but yeah, and we will continue 5.3 then. I hope to see every single one of you back here. I had fun, I think. All right. Can one of my mods bump uh, my socials in the chat <laughs> real quick? Please and thank you. Before I go... What? There's something I must reveal to you. What are you hiding under your cloak? What is under your cloak? My star sign. Okay. What's my star sign? My star sign is meow. Very good. Wait, is this gonna be a spoiler, Sarnix? Is this a spoiler? I don't wanna know it. So don't look it up, but each of those stones was an IRL star sign and belonged to the convocation of 14, right? Well, Gemini, the purple stone, was for the seat of Emmett Selk. <laughs> Hear that, buddy? It's fate! It's destiny! It's literally written in the fucking stars, my guy. 
Hear that? My favorite color? I'm a fucking Gemini? Bro, you could be my seat. Let me sit on that lap. On that note, chat, you didn't hear that? I'm going to bed. Good night! Good night, friends. Sorry for the... <laughs> I'm real I will see you all Monday. Don't forget to set your alarms or whatever it is that you gotta do. Take care. Bye. Thank you so much for all the love tonight.